My three Ganon run. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold up. Hold, hold up. Hold up. Okay. <laughs> Let me restart this game. Something funky. Wait. Huh. Okay. So. Hold up. <laughs> I got a... My controller did not recharge. So I have to... Uh... I have to fix my controller. <laughs> I have to fix my controller because my... Co uh, the current controller, the controller I usually use, uh, didn't charge overnight. Um, so... I'm gonna have to replace my controller or something. I have a PS4 controller uh, that I can wire in. Okay, so. Sorry.
Okay. Okay, my controller's back. I've got my PS4 controller hooked in. Oof. Um, and I'm ready. <laughs> I'm, whoa. Okay. I'm ready for another run. Uh, P of, not P, of Legend of Zelda 2, The Adventure of Link. And, uh, you know, I really wonder, like, it's a three, it's a three Ganon run. Um, three Ganon returns and I switched games. Um, and I really wonder, like, how long it'll take me to fix this game. I mean, not to fix this game. <laughs> There's no fixing this game. How long it'll tell me to finish this game? Um, it may take lifetime. It may take lifetimes. It may. Um, and the thing about that is, it's like I think at a certain point it'll become a form of stability in my life. There'll be a form of uh, Stockholm syndrome, possibly that'll come over me, and I'll I'll think, hey. I finished this game. Um, maybe I should do this game again. Maybe I should just keep doing this game for the rest of my life. Like, I think that's a uh, real possibility. And, uh, <laughs> ooh, wow, uh, what the possibility that, that is. Because. Wow. You know, I talked to a lot of people. Um, let me change this, uh... Sorry. Let me change this stream info so that it matches. Like, sometimes I try to change this stream info inside of OBS, but it just doesn't work. It just doesn't want to go. we go <laughs> but yeah maybe at a certain point you know I'll just think hey you know I need a constant in my life uh, things are always changing times are always changing that's why we cling on to nostalgia and I don't have nostalgia for this game this game was a little bit before my time so I didn't play this as a kid this is the first time I'm playing it and maybe as time goes on, I'll develop a nostalgia for this because, whoa! That's fine. Uh, <laughs> because, um, time has a way of smoothing out the edges. It makes things sweeter. want to use the shield right now. I use the... Mm. Whatever. I'm at the end of the screen, so sh using the shield is not going to help me very much. And I could use the life spell and then get the magic pot. But my fear is that even with the magic pot, I wouldn't have enough uh, magic to use the jump spell. Which you do need to get through. You do need... Uh, in order to get through these caves. Now let's go over to uh, this fairy. Uh, thank you to Feral Gaming for following the channel, like when I was offline. But yeah, I've gotten through those caves. I may have. Oof! I may have. Uh, I may have lost uh, life. Uh, but hey, I got two more. Uh, it's not really. You haven't really lost your life until, uh, Ganon returns. It's like what they say, it's it's not over until a fat lady sings. And, uh, Ganon is not a fat lady, but he's a fat pig. And, hey. 
we're not stopping until he sings three times. Let's get this fairy. Wow. It's always, you know, it's not super rare, but it is in common sight for me to get that fairy on the overworld, that f random fairy encounter. And it's, it's so satisfying and so gratifying when I do get it. Wow. I love to meet a little lady, a little mama. That, you know, she, she stops by and she like gives you a little kissy for your boo-boo. And... <laughs> uh, okay, we're at Sawyer Town. We're at Sawyer Town. That means we're almost gonna go over that bridge. Which means we're almost gonna go Death Mountain. And listen. We, we have been progressively, progressively getting closer and closer to the place where the hammer is. I'm pretty sure we got to the hammer cave. The cave of the hammer. Um, last time. I think maybe twice. And that means, hey, there's a good chance- Oh, stupid bat lady. Okay. And that means <laughs> there's a high probability that we can do it again. And maybe we'll even get the hammer. That'll be such a win, because I've, you know, I've alluded to in the past that I was going to uh, get the hammer in those streams. I didn't, but hey, maybe in this stream we will, and we'll be ready to um, bust some rocks, you know? And then we won't have to go through that system of caves south of uh, Rudo Village. Yeah. We, we might be able to kill those, uh, I mean, not kill, but kiss those Rudo Caves goodbye. Let's go. Love that projectile. Love that projectile sword. Ah, amazing. Of course, it, yes, it helps us against these. It does not help against, against the, uh, weasel guys, but here, here we go. The weasel guys ain't here, so... <laughs> Do we really care about them? Do we really care about them right now? No, they're not gonna ruin our party. Ah. Okay. There we go. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Hello? Sir? You know, uh, there's a little bit of a tight, t there's some tight timing on this, you know? Um, some might say it's not tight, it's actually very loose. But hey, you know, I think, I think like, you know, it's a, it's subjective. It's subjective, you know? Um, if you're very girthy, then of course things are gonna, ever, then yeah. A lot of things are gonna be tight for you. And that's what I am. I'm very girthy. Oof. Ooh. Let me use a life spell. Oof. Ah. You know, it's crazy. These these rocks from these octa rocks, they phase through uh they phase through the castle terrain. I'm not the castle terrain, the cave terrain. They go through these rocks. They're like magical. You might think they're just regular rocks, but they're magical because they go through um, all this uh, other hard uh, sediment. Now, huh. Huh. oh, okay. You know what? I can I can leave that bat alone. I can leave that bat alone. I can ooh. I'm gonna need to shield probably, just to increase my uh, survival chances against this guy. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, Axe Man, he's done. This does mean this does mean that it would be. Oh no. Okay. Um, let me see if I can make it through these without getting, without taking any more damage. Oh. Ah! Okay, I was not able to take... 
to go through without taking any more damage. Uh, but, you know, I was hoping to find a cave with a slime or something in it that would be easy so that we could grind for more magic. However, that's not the case. Uh, and we did lose our life to these fish. Uh, but that's fine. We have got one more life. One more life is all we need. All we need. Now, we will need to use the jump spell so that we can jump over onto these. Hey, hey. We love to see our. Oh, why is that? <laughs> that jumping was uh, a little bit tricky, but we did shield up first. So that means that we were able to go. And, you know, lose a minimal amount of life. Here is a man with some boomerangs. And we're saying, hey, we don't have... Ooh. We don't have the time. We don't have the energy for those boomerangs. And oof. Eesh. Let's just switch it to life, just in case. Uh, oof. Okay. We've run- we re-ran through that. That's fine. Um, let's grind some magic so that we have some magic to cast the life spell when we need to. Uh, which I predict we will need to. And luckily, we've got this little slime. We've got a little slime. Which is an easy enemy to grind. If we're paying attention. If we're- if we're having our wits about us. If we're, uh... If we're just, if, we're, if we just grit our teeth, if we just, hey Joey, <laughs> hey Joey Titch, if we just, you know, stay frosty, stay frigid, stay, uh, freezing, get, get in that frostbite, frostbite on our nose, if we just stay completely rock hard solid, we will conquer these slimes, and we will get the magic that we need. We will get the magic that we need. Oh, you got up really early? Yeah. <laughs> this is a lot earlier than I usually see you. I'm still on my first uh, run of Zelda 2. I'm doing three runs. Um, You know, three game overs. Until I switch over to Majora's Mask. Uh, I don't think you usually get here when I'm playing Zelda 2. <laughs> But I want to beat this game, so I'm doing it a little bit every day. A little bit every day. And then here we are. We're grinding. We're grinding. It's like... It's like we're a blade. Or a knife. And we're... Oh, did you? <laughs> you gotta just to watch me? Oh, man. Zelda 2, uh, there's not gonna be, there's probably not gonna be as much progress as I would make in, uh, Majora's Mask or something. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, right now, I'm trying to get magic potions so that I can, uh, get a fuller magic bar. If you remember that guy from last night, that other chatter, uh, Topher ZG, he's also starting this game. He's also starting Zelda 2. Uh, tonight. He's been playing it. And I'm so interested, like, to see which of us finishes this game first. It's a very hard game for me. <laughs> Have you ever tried Zelda 2? Ah. Oh. Oh man, you might fall asleep. You could probably stand to like, take a little nap and come back. <laughs> but I I'd appreciate if you were here too. It, it, either way, do what you want. Do what's good for you. Oh, you should try Zelda 2. You should see if you're a hardcore enough gamer to play Zelda 2. Okay, I think I've got enough magic now. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. 
Uh, if you love Ocarina of Time, you'll... You'll notice a lot of, uh, connections, like names and stuff. There's some similarities between the games. Whoa. So they're kind of good to play together. Ah! Uh. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay. You know, this game, uh... This game, I think it, like... It... It teaches you something about yourself. It teaches, like... You get to learn whether you have the... Ah... Uh, patience and endurance and, uh, agility. To make it through this game. Because if you can, uh... Because if you can make it through this game, I think you can make it through life. I think you can make it through anything in life if you make it through this game. That's the playthrough of Ocarina of Time. Ah, yeah. How'd they do? Were they good at the game? <laughs> ah. I got one hit before I die, and then I have to start over. Okay. Oh, jeez. Oh, okay. Oh, you just watched it to fall asleep? Yeah, um... I've watched a lot of things to fall asleep. Uh, well, I don't think I watch things specifically to fall asleep. I just fall asleep while uh, watching things and uh, listening to podcasts. I like to listen to a lot of uh, movie and TV show podcasts. And a lot of times I end up like falling asleep halfway through. And then my Spotify would just keep playing more episodes as I'm sleeping. Do you ever... If you... If you fall asleep with uh, the Zelda, do you ever dream about Zelda? Because sometimes that happens like if something's in the background, like some noise, it makes it into my dream. See... See reeks. Syrax. <laughs> okay. I maybe I'll check him out. Whoa. Syrax. Have they finished the game? Whoa. Ah. I will have to make it back. I... Uh, got a little sloppy. Got a little sloppy. I'll admit, I got a little sloppy. Mm. Darn. I was only 200 XP away from a level. I was only like one magic pot away from being able to cast life again, but 
That's how this game gets you. You know, you, you let your guard down, you go... Ah, he finished three years ago. Did he get everything, or was it just like... Or... Like, was it a 100% run, or was it like, just... Completely... Just whatever he felt like doing. Ah! Yeah, I think there's like a lot of stuff to do if you want to go for 100%. Um, but sometimes like when you're just like... Sometimes when you're just playing things, you just want to go and just like do the best you can and just beat the game. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe some, maybe some bosses or something would have like been a little bit. Um, Ganon needs to return twice, twice more, which means you know that pig, that game over screen has to uh show up and he has to go ho ho ho. Oh. I don't have enough magic to jump. Uh, yeah. To each... Each game over... Gives you three lives. And then... Ugh. Each game over gives you three lives. And then, like... After you... And then... Oh, man. I'm doing... <laughs> I'm doing, uh... Yeah. Two more game overs. Which is... Uh, may like if you count the lives as deaths, that's like four more deaths, but it's not that long. I die pretty often, so it's not gonna be that long. if I can make it to the hammer. Yeah, I hope I can beat it too. <laughs> uh, uh, I might not make it to this item that I need, the hammer in Death Mountain. I might not need make it this, this run because I only have one life left in this, in this run before a game over. And then I have to start over at uh, Zelda's Palace. But you know, um, you know, the new Zelda, the Tears of the Kingdom, comes out next year. And I kind of want to get through a lot of Zelda games before it comes out. So that I'm going to have a lot of things fresh in my mind. And I'm going to remember a lot more about the Zelda series uh, when I play it. So I'm going to be like, oh, that's... Uh, yeah, Tears of the Kingdom, the, the sequel to uh, Breath of the Wild, I think is next year, I think, unless I'm mistaken, but I think it's next year. I enjoyed Breath of the Wild, uh, and, you know, I'd, uh, I'd love to see what, what, uh, improvements, what new things they have. Yeah. 
Yeah, I'm gonna get it eventually. I don't know if I'm gonna get it the day it comes out, but I'm gonna get it eventually. And uh, and hey. <laughs> I'm gonna see. Um, I'm gonna see how I feel about it. Like, uh, if it's because if it's uh, a lot like Breath of the Wild, since it is kind of like the sequel, uh, I'll have to see how it compares to a lot of the Breath of the Wild like clones that I've played since. Like, I played, uh... What's its face? Like, I currently play, like, Genshin Impact. <laughs> which is definitely just, like... Very Breath of the Wild-like. And I played, uh, Fantasy Star Online 2, uh, New Genesis. I don't play it currently, but... I played that for a little bit, and... That was, like, Breath of the Wild as well. And... I haven't played Sonic Frontiers, but I've seen a little bit of Sonic Frontiers, and that's also like Breath of the Wild. <laughs> so, I wonder like... Now that we have all these comparisons to other games that are like, kind of like copying Breath of the Wild or like... inspired by Breath of the Wild, I wonder how like, it feels in comparison. I'm... I'm not like a giant Zelda nerd, like I don't... Like, I haven't played that much of Zelda. But... I might become a Zelda nerd. Like... Just going through and playing all these, uh, older games. Hmm. <laughs> Besides the ocarina, do you have any other like Zelda related things that you've like bought? Like, I know like there's another streamer on here who doesn't even do video games really. He does like video games sometimes, but not like that's not his thing. Uh, his like name is like Hassan Navi, and he has like a big old Zelda shield in the background of his uh. Of his streams, he has like a Zelda shield in his room. And then, uh... Yeah, I've seen a lot of other people that have like... Zelda co Like they have like the Tingle costume, or they have like... Zelda's, I mean like Link's hat. Do you have anything like that? Ah, <laughs> uh, whoa. Majora's Twilight Princess and Breath of the Wild. Mm. Oh wait, 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 wait. I've got I've got full magic. I can just cast a life spell when I go through here. I played like a little bit of Twilight Princess, but I haven't beat it. I haven't gotten very far, I think I was still in like the tutorials and stuff like that. Like, when you first become the wolf. No, no. Okay, one more. One more game over. Um, but I played through and beat Breath of the Wild, at least. And... 
I think I got, I think I got either everything or almost everything in Breath of the Wild. Uh, you know, that's a, that's a nice one to just go and like, wander around and see if you can get everything. Whoa. You know, it's that very like, when the, it's very easy exploration. Um, you played all of them except for Wind Waker, Zelda 1 and Zelda 2. Oh, well, if you like Link to the Past, Zelda 1 is kind of like Link to the Past. It's not as easy, and it's, um, and obviously Link to the Past is, like, more, you know, it's, it's newer than Zelda 1, so it's just, like, they've made improvements, but, uh, it's kind of like Link to the Past. I hear a lot of people like Wind Waker. I think it's probably mostly because of the art style. Oh, have you played Link to the Past? Or have you not? Link to the Past is a... Yeah, it's, it's one of those ones that people love. I've played Link to the Past. It was, a. Uh... Yeah, it's kind of cool. Um... If you like 2D Zelda games... Uh, Link to the Past is probably the best one, and it's, uh, the movement is pretty, uh, fluid, like, it's, uh, it feels good to play, so it is, like, kind of fun, yeah, it is fun. Yeah, a lot of people consider it like the best 2D Zelda game. Oh my gosh. It also has a, it has a sequel that I haven't played. It has uh, the Link Between Worlds. Oh, and uh, Link to the Past has like, uh, oh uh, yeah, introduces like the Dark World, which is pretty cool. Like, it's not like scary, it's not a scary game, but if you like, uh, some of like the scarier parts of like Majora's Mask or something, then you might like some of the, like the Dark World stuff in, uh, Link to the Past. Honestly, honestly and truly, um, I have been, I don't know why, but I've been having like, I've been having diarrhea today. <laughs> I've been having the squirts. <laughs> so I really don't know how many bathroom breaks I'll have to take during my stream t tonight because it's just like, ah. Uh, yeah, I can feel it in my stomach. I can feel things coming. Um, but... Hopefully, it's not too often. Ah, oh, jeez. Okay. So, this is my... Okay. If I die twice, then that's the end for now. Die twice, that's the game over, and then that's the... That's it for Zelda 2 tonight. I 
kind of want to at least... If I'm not getting to the hammer, I kind... If I'm not getting the hammer, I kind of at least want to get to where the hammer is. The hammer is in this one cave in Death Mountain. It's just like in uh, Ocarina of Time. The hammer, you find it in Death Mountain. And then you, with the hammer, you can... Uh, you can pound at those big rocks and break them. I don't think there are any Gorons in this game, though. <laughs> I don't think- oh, whoa! Well. I don't think there are any Gorons to save in that. Oh, oh my gosh. Hi, Topher. Thanks for the raid. How'd you do in, uh, how'd you do in Zelda 2? Where'd you get to? Did you beat the first palace? Ah, uh, oh, jeez. Oh no. Found Saria Town and found Second Palace. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, I've been a little bit through the Second Palace. Uh, but I think I might need the hammer to go further in the palace. I'm not sure if I can do the palace like... Oh no. Oh no. Wow, you beat it. You beat your first palace. You beat your first palace, like, pretty fast. Ah, jeez. I need, uh, I need potions. I need potions so I can jump over to <laughs> those platforms. Wow. How'd Um... How many tries did it take you to beat Horsehead? Oh, no. It took me a while until, like, I figured out the uh, dodging pattern I need to do. Yeah, I, I figured out I need to jump, hit, and then jump back. Jump, hit, and jump back. That's what I did for Horsehead. Yeah, you're probably much better gamer than I am. <laughs> Oof. Okay, now I can jump. Now I can get this magic pot. Yeah, iron knuckles. The iron knuckles are very tough. Oh no! I didn't think... <laughs> I didn't think that they... <laughs> I didn't think one axe throw would kill me. I thought it would take maybe two axe throws. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're about to where I am, I guess. <laughs> because I haven't accomplished much since the first palace. I've just like been like trying to do <laughs> trying to get this hammer and okay. I need to pay attention a little bit more. I don't have any more life. Oh, no, no, I'm not, <laughs> I'm not streaming, <laughs> I'm not streaming Zelda 2 for 12 hours. I don't, <laughs> I don't have the stamina for that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, I have to, I have to figure out a way to grind some magic pots. I need to grind these sli slimes for pots. Otherwise, I'm not gonna have the magic to cast life and heal myself. Oh, did you get the life spell yet? 
And that's like the MVP of this game, at least for me. Whoa. 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 I've only been to like three towns. So, probably the life's- uh -huh. Ganon's returned. Okay. <laughs> I think <laughs> that's uh, my Zelda 2 uh, trial for tonight. It is a trial. It has tried me. And, you know, I failed. But, hey. There's always next time. <laughs> To make uh, some progress, but yeah, the life spell is probably in Saria Town because I've only been to three towns. Each town has a spell. I've got the life spell. It's probably in Saria Town somewhere, and the life spell is the most useful spell because there's not a lot of sources for life in this. There simply is not. Um, and sometimes I find myself going in and out of caves just fighting slimes to get magic pots so I can catch cast life again <laughs> yeah yeah, about one hour. About one hour. Eventually, they'll accumulate and I'll make it through somewhere. Uh, but right now, I'm going to go to a more com comfortable game, uh, which is Majora's Mask. Oof. Yes, I would like to create a slot. Okay, save file has been created. Let's go. Um, Majora's Mask. I've played Majora's Mask before. Um, it's been what? I don't know how many years. I think the last time I played Majora's Mask was probably longer than the last time I've played uh, Ocarina of Time. But I think I remember more about Majora's Mask than I do about Ocarina of Time. So it's like probably over a decade since I last played Majora's Mask. And I think I remember more because I've tried uh, fighting this more. I mean, I tried uh, playing this more. I originally got it when I was a kid. And um, just something about it was too creepy, too scary. And too anxiety inducing. So, in the land of Hyrule, there echoes a legend. A legend he dearly, held dearly by the royal family that tells of a boy. A boy who, after battling evil and saving Hyrule, crept away from the land that had made him a legend. Yeah, it's probably my favorite Zelda too. Done with the battles he once waged across time. He embarked on the journey. A secret and personal journey. Like, I like a lot of... A journey in search of... <laughs> a beloved and invaluable friend. Um... A friend who, with whom he parted ways when he finally fulfilled his heroic destiny and took his place among legends. Um... I watch a lot of uh, horror movies and... Uh horror TV shows, and I watch a lot of people play horror games. So the fact that this has more, like, horror elements to it, uh, is why I kind of like this maybe the best. Like, whenever you got, you know, whenever you got some folks screaming, some bodies mor morphing, you know, that's always a good time to me. That's always a good time for me. Ugh. Okay, so Link told Zelda, hey, you better go arrest Ganondorf. Uh, Ganondorf got arrested or something, I don't know. Um, he's going off with Epona. He, Navi disappeared for some reason, I don't know what she's doing. 
Uh, maybe she went back to Kokiri Forest. And then here's two fairies knocking us off our horse. Ehe, <laughs> you two fairies did great. Oh yeah, my category. My category. I forgot about that. Here's Skull Kid. It took me a long time as a kid. Like, they tell you. They tell you, right? But, uh... It took me a long time as a kid to realize that this kid was not, um... Uh, it took me a long time as a kid to realize that his name was not Majora, and that was not his face. Like, they explicitly tell you it's a mask. But, like, I think I was just kind of young and dumb, so I just didn't, uh, realize that, you know, he's wearing a mask and his name is not Majora, it's like Skull Kid. I wonder if he has anything good on him. Huh? This guy. Well, that shouldn't be a problem. I mean, I don't know. On some level, I'm a little bit frustrated that Epona got spooked so easily by these fairies. But then I think about like how I get spooked by like insects. And I'm like, oh, well, I can't talk. Ooh, ooh, what a pretty ocarina. Hey, Skull Kid, let me touch it. I want to see. You can't, Kyle. What would we do if you dropped it and broke it? No way, you can't touch it. Aw, but sis, what? why can't I try out, too? Skull kids. Skull kids are like... They're like normal kids that get like lost in the forest or something, right? And then they just like... Get morphed... Into these forms because the forest has some kind of weird magic. The lost woods. So potentially he was like... A normal like Hylian like... Elf... Kokiri... Something kid. And now he's kind of like made out of straw and bone or something. I don't know. I have, okay. I have a sword. Ah. These controls are very familiar. And then, um, another thing is, like, it's amazing how, how much they, uh, upgrade the textures going from Ocarina to Majora's Mask. Like, the textures look so much better. Oh man, these drawings... They're not all of them. Hmm. Okay, so in those drawings I saw like... Ocarina, Zora, Majora's Mask, Gorons. So I guess that's like... It's not mass, it's just like uh, like the different air, The different uh, types of beings you can be. And then like the Ocarina and Majora's Mask, which is like... The main enemy. What's with that stupid horse of yours? It doesn't listen to a word that's said to it. There's no point in writing a thing like that, so I did you a favor and got rid of it. Hee hee! Aw, boo hoo! Why the sad face? Why does my voice sound like this now? It's cause I went down this hole, and, you know... I hit something in my throat. <laughs> I just thought I'd have a little fun with you. Oh, come on now. You reached blah blah blah. Okay, you went a little bit too fast for me. 
Okay, okay, you went a little bit too fast. <laughs> uh... Um, no. Uh, no. Oh, no. We're... Oh, no. We're being danced at by Deku Scrubs. Now we're being sucked up by a giant Deku head. And now we're Deku Scrub. Wait, maybe they're Dekus and I'm just... Maybe I'm a Deku Scrub and they're, they, those are like regular Dekus. Those are like grown-up ones. I don't know. Hee <laughs> hee. Now that's a good look for you. You'll stay here looking that way forever. I did hear from another streamer though. I think his name was Smithic or something. And I think that he said something about the Deku Scrub. That the Deku Scrub is kind of overpowered. Like, because he can do like the bubble things. Whoa, whoa, Skull Kid, wait for me, I'm still here. Tile, you can't leave without me. Because you can do the little spin, and you can do the little bubble things, and those are very, really good against uh, a lot of enemies. Lot. That in a way that other forms are uh, not quite as good against all these different enemies. You. If I wasn't dealing with you, I wouldn't have gotten separated from my brother. Well, don't just sit there, Deku boy. Do something. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something stuck in my face? Will you just stop staring and open that door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Tile. I wonder if that child would be alright on his own. So I guess this one, you know... I guess this one is kind of like the older sister of uh, the other one. You know, as you saw, the black fairy, he kind of like uh, stuttered. And I think this, uh, when she said child, I'm, I think she was talking about her brother, not Skull Kid. Oh. oh okay. Z targeting. As I said, I... <laughs> okay, let me try to open that door. Sorry. As I said, I play Genshin too, and uh, when I went back to Genshin, sometimes when I go back to Genshin, I try to use Zelda N64 controls. So I try to like, use my shoulder button uh, to, hey wait for me, don't leave me behind. So, um, that stuff back there, I, um, apologize, so, so take me with you. You know, I tried to use the targeting control, I tried to use the Z button to control the camera, I tried to roll, and all those things are not equivalent, uh, actions in Genshin, so it's a little bit of adjustment every time I go back. You want to know about that Skull Kid who just ran off, right? Well, I just so happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you, and I'll deal- and I'll help you out. Deal? Please? Good. So then it's settled. Now then, I'll be your partner. Or at least until we catch that Skull Kid. My name's Tattle. Tattle and Tattle. Okay. So, um... It's nice to meet you or whatever. Now that we've gotten that all straightened out, can we stop messing around and get moving? If I figure something out, press up and I'll tell it to you. Hopefully, you'll manage to get by without my help until then. I also think that people have a better opinion of Tattle than they do of Navi. They tend to not find her as annoying. 
And maybe it's because she has... She doesn't, uh, say, Hey, listen! She instead, like, uh... It's so crazy that these, uh... That these little blades of grass, they, like, run away from you. Yeah, instead she's got, like, a little bike sound. Yeah. Yeah, she's not kind of... She's not as much of a generic helper. Navi was, like, more... Just like, hey, I'm a helper, kind of. Why don't you do this? And she has all those voice lines like, Hey, listen, watch out! Whereas Tattle, she just like, she just rings her little bike bell. She's like, hey, I gotta get through. I gotta get through. <laughs> I remember, I don't know, maybe now that I'm older, these things won't uh, be as much trouble for me, but I remember having a real tough time with uh, all this Deku like gliding with like the low flowers. I remember having a lot of trouble <laughs> and falling a lot. Uh, we got our nuts. In Ocarina of Time, these nuts did not really help us. Except for in the final fight with Ganon, you can use the nuts to attack his tail. Which was told to me by the, the chatter Joey Titch. And I wouldn't have figured it out on my own. And it does like and it did save me on uh, what I would have used, which was bombs. Like when you don't have your sword. My instinct is to go bombs because they do uh, drop some bombs for you. But yeah, the nuts do work then. Hey, you, come on, press L and talk to me. What's going on? Press L and talk. Do I use Tattle? Oh, Tattle was telling me to talk to her. Okay. I thought it was that weird Deku thing. There you go. See, you can do it if you try. When I fly over to people or objects, use L to look at them so you can talk to them. Use L targeting to talk to people, even if they're far away. Or, if there's no one to target, you can use L to look straight ahead. But enough about that for now. Come over to this tree and check it out. <laughs> oh my gosh, my, my nose is full with mu mucus right now. I feel it's so stuffed up. Oh gosh. Mm. It's strange, but the way you look right now so looks like this tree. It looks all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying at any second now. How sad. So I think the deal with some of these masks is like they're dead people. They're like we're taking the faces off like dead people. And maybe this is like the... I think this is the guy whose face we're wearing so that we can be a Deku scrub. I don't know how that guy died, but, you know, rest in peace. Hope you went to, hope you went to the same place the twin rover sister went, you know, which seems to be heaven. And I hope they aren't bullying you up in heaven. What's... Uh, yeah, I love the song of healing. The song of healing is one of my all-time uh, favorite Zelda songs. Uh, oh yeah! Oh, now I remember. The Deku scrub cannot swim. He just has like limited hops across water. I remember this now. Ah, jeez. Okay. So there's nothing there. I was just checking for any chests or secrets. Oh gosh. Wait. Hmm. Does it have a nose? Or is it like a combined nose and mouth? Or does it not need a nose because it doesn't breathe? 
it's like a well it's a plant so i guess it kind of breathes through its leaves slash hair i don't know but what i was about to say is that i wish i had like a clear and open nasal cavity like this like this deku scrub like deku link you've met with a terrible fate haven't you I own the happy mask shop. I travel far and wide in search of masks. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. For all... Or I know of a way to return to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. I wonder if this guy... I don't remember what this guy's dialogue is in Japanese, but I wonder if in Japanese if he has any speech quirks. He kind of seems like a guy with, that would have speech quirks. Like sometimes he play... Uh, Sometimes you play Japanese games, and in English, you wouldn't know that they were, like, meant to be, like, maybe Chinese or something. But, like, in the Japanese version, they'll end their sentences with, like, aru, which is, like, a stereotypical kind of, like, Japanese, um, stereotype of how Chinese people talk. So, I was always wondering, like, does he have some kind of speech quirk? And another thing is that he has, like, these very... Thin, narrow, like slits of eyes, like lines for eyes, which is always like a sign in Japanese media that something is untrustworthy. Like they say that like people with narrow eyes are really untrustworthy because you can't see their expressions as much. And that's that tends to be like if someone's really sus, if someone's really untrustworthy, they'll have like really small eyes. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange, all that I ask you is... All that I ask is you also get back my precious mask the imp stole from me. <laughs> what? Is it a not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be... It should by no means be a difficult task. Except... The one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow, and I must leave this place in three days. How grateful I would be if you could bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are courageous. Oh, I see you are young and have tremendous courage. I'm sure you'll find it right away. Well then, I am counting on you. Oh, if you see, he has like a... Ah, I didn't mean to use that Deku. If you see, he has like a, quite a few masks. Like, I don't know what some of these masks are meant to be. I know he has like one that people say... is kind of like... Mario? But I don't know where that Mario mask is. I don't see it. Is there a Mario mask on him? Top left. If I'm looking at him, top left. Top left. What you talking about? His left. Oh, his left. Oh, that's Mario! Oh! I thought that was like a... I thought that was like a Daruma mask. Like a mask with like that, that little Daruma thing. Like those little like... Ovally, reddish, wobbly guys. That you see in, Jap in Japanese stuff. That was... Oh, okay. Okay. Let's go.
And the way the- Oh. Dawn of the first day, 72 hours remain. South clock down. Um. Yeah, and the way that you glide with- I mean, the way that you spin with the Deku Scrub, with Deku Link, like, it is pretty smooth. I like it. I like how... Great. <laughs> he gives me the creeps. And that mask salesman was the... Sorry, just thinking loud. But three days? Even if we never sleep, that still leaves us with a measly 72 hours. Talk about demanding. Well, don't just stand there. We're going to see the great fairy. Look, you want to find the Skull Kid, don't you? Uh, the mask you have to find is Majora's Mask. But, uh... Realistically, right now, I think... I think all we need is the ocarina. Right now, I think all we want to do is find the ocarina. The great fairy will know what he's up to. She watches over everything. And just between you and me, the skull kid is no match for the great fairy. Go to the shrine near the north gate. You'll find the great fairy in there. Okay. Oh, did I not have a mini-map? Oh, I don't have the map yet. Uh, we're in the south. So... Ah! Oh yeah, those fucking... Those stupid dogs. Ye who hold the sacred sword, leave proof of our encounter. Okay. We don't have a sword yet. We don't have our sword yet. We're just a little deck of scrub. <laughs> West clock down. Okay. So we went south, we're in west. Hold up. What? We're, we, we started in south, we went into the west. Yes, 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 yes. I think they started me off next to the north clock down. Yeah, he did take my ocarina. But, you know. We're- we're on our way back to getting it, cause we're... Wait, no- Maybe that doesn't lead to- Oh, oh, here we go. Here's north. North Clock Town. Hey, Tingle. <laughs> What's this? Green clothes, white fairy. Sir, could you by any chance be a forest fairy? Oh my. <laughs> my name is Tingle. I think I am the same as you, sir. A forest fairy. Alas. Though I am already aged 35, no fairy has come to me yet. Oh, I thought like... <laughs> it's so strange. Like, when I was a kid, I thought this guy was a lot older. But he's only 35. Which, now that I'm an adult, doesn't seem that old. My father tells me to grow up and act my age, but why? I tell you, Tingle is the very reincarnation of a fairy. Now, while I stand here waiting for a fairy of my own, I sell maps to help out my father. You're clueless on this game? I know a little bit more about this game than, than Ocarina of Time. I remember. I remember more. Lucky, lucky. You're so lucky to have a fairy. I know, I know. We should be friends. Yes, yes. In exchange, I will sell you a map for cheap as a sign of my friendship. Will you buy one of Tingle's maps? Is this the game that introduces Tingle? Because, uh, in Ocarina of Time, we didn't get maps from Tingle. We got them from dungeons. And then outside of the dungeon, we just kind of knew where everything was. We already had it in our mini-map and our system and everything. Um, let's go to Clock Town. Yippee! You got a map of Clock Town. Now you can find your way around the town. Red arrow on the map shows where you entered. Yellow arrow shows your current location. <laughs> well, call again! Tingle Tingle! Hulululumpa! <laughs> These are the magic words that Tingle created himself. Don't steal them! Um, I think this is... I think Tingle 
is foreshadowing. What do you want, Shrimp? I'm busy practicing with my blowgun. If you can't pop that balloon, then don't mess with Jim. Um... But I think this is like a bit of foreshadowing to how um, intense and strict and severe uh, Nintendo's like copyright protection would become. That tingle was the start of it. Oh no, the great fairy. Young one, please hear my plea. I have been broken and shattered to pieces by the masked Skull Kid. Please find the one stray fairy lost in town and bring her to this fairy fountain. So, <laughs> yeah, in this game, the great fairies get split up into these little fairies, but they're not like the... They're not like Navi and they're not like Tattle. They're like weird little... Sleepy babies? They've got like sleepy eyes and these giant lips. And it's crazy. Uh let's see. I need to find that one fairy piece so I can put her back together. And let's see. I think it's maybe in Maybe here? Maybe here? There's a... Oh, here we go. Please, hear my plea. The masked skull kid has broken me apart and scattered my pieces. Please find a way to return me to the fairy fountain in North Clock Town. Yeah. I think fairies tend to like water. Like, they live in fountains. So... I think they tend to gather around water. Although, maybe that's just like... Maybe that's just an assumption I have and they're just like everywhere. But yeah, these like... Uh, if you're uninitiated and you haven't seen a great fairy in uh, Ocarina of Time, if you haven't played Ocarina of Time and you haven't seen a great fairy, it, it might kind of surprise you that, like, when you get, like, these small fairies and then you, um, turn them into the great fairy, that it doesn't just look like a bigger version of these small ones. And instead, it's this, uh, it's this lady with her, with her pointy bobbies. And, <laughs> Tado, and you, young one of the altered shape. Thank you for returning my broken and shattered body to normal. It can be quite a shock. I am the great fairy of magic. I thought that the masked child was helping me and I grew careless. Uh, great fairy is apparently very naive. <laughs> All I can offer you now is this. I wonder what the great fairy thought he was helping her with. Like, what does she need that, that like some kid will be able to help her? I shall grant you magic power as a sign of my gratitude. Please accept it. <laughs> oh, let me drink some Diet Coke. That's some- that's magic for- for me. The magic of caffeine. Whoa. You've been granted magic power. In your current form, press, press B to shoot bubble blasts. Press and hold B to blow a big bubble. Press B, uh, release B to shoot it. Your magic power decreases when you shoot. Replenish it with magic jars and potions. The man who lives in the ob observatory outside of town may know Skull Kid's whereabouts, but be careful. You must not underestimate that child's powers. Mind young one. If ever you are returned to your former shape, come see me. I shall give you more help. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, yeah. And I always thought like those bubbles that uh Link Deku Link uh shoots, I always thought they were like kind of 
snot bubbles. Let's see, we can shoot here. Ooh. Hey, what's up? That's me, I did that. Are you the one that just popped out there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. We bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside town. You need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting it that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. Are you ready? Sure. Alright, line up guys. Aw oh, man. These guys all look the same. If you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning, I'll teach you the code. And one of these are like quintuplets. But I don't know why you would give like just one quintuplet like... Uh... A special bandana that's different from the others. Are you ready? I always think it's so awkward when like... People have like identical kids, like twins and stuff, and they just like... Ah! Here's one. Aw, oh, you caught me. Now there are only four left. I always think it's um, so awkward when people give like identical twins or triplets or whatever like the same clothes because it's like... I don't know. As parents, don't you want to foster like individual identities? Don't you want to like not have them have like uh, complexes? Oh man, I didn't think you could- Oh shit, shoot. That's one that we got. Oh man. Oh, you caught me. Now there are only three left. Okay. They make you do it at the hospital. <laughs> Paddle, what, what do you want? Oh, why do we have to play these stupid rats little games? Hur Come on, hurry up and find them. Only 15.52 left until morning. Ah, jeez. Time. You know, time is a precious resource in this game. Whoa! There's one up the slide. Can I get up the slide? Can I get up here? Something? I don't know. Uh, let's go on to other parts of this map. Of this, of this town. Because I don't see the rest, so... Oh, oh! I see a kid with a chicken. East clock town. I see a kid with a chicken, so we're gonna go up. We're gonna talk to that chicken kid. At least in this map, it's nice how they like... It's nice how they um, mark like buildings and stuff you can enter. Where'd that kid go? Oh, here he is. Oh no. No, I didn't mean to Z-target that. Oh man, there's a little bit of slowdown in my game. If it gets too bad, I'll have to look into my settings and see if I can correct this somehow. Oh, you caught me. Now there are only two left. I guess there's like too much action going on in, um, Clock Town. My computer's like, oh, jeez. Oh, man. Why are you making me do all this work? Okay, there's this kid up there. So let's see if we can get up there. It chugs on original hardware too. What? That's crazy. Can I use this Deku flower? Yes, I can. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Come on. Ah, oh, you caught me. Now there's only one left. Um. Okay, so I didn't see another kid here. Uh, let me go over to West. Night at the first day, 60 hours remain. Ah, shit. I'll shoot. I'll shoot. Can I make it in time? Can I make it in time? Maybe he's in West. I think these kids like the pr Oh, no, no, no. Don't deposit rubies. Not right now. Oh, here we go. Here we go. No! No! 
Come on. Come on. Yes! Oh, no way, you finally got me. Okay. We found them. We found them all before morning. You're pretty good for a Deku scrub. If only we were human. Then I could give you an original bomber's notebook and make you a member. What do you guys think? No way, no scrubs. We're racist. Ah, oh, man. Go back to where you came from. Clock tower for clock towers. No Deku's here. I guess not. Once we let some kid who wasn't human join our gang and boy, did we ever regret it. Sorry. Okay, well that guy, that guy you're talking about, if you're talking about Skull Kid, he was a Skull Kid. He was not a Deku scrub. So you're just saying that any single race that is different from you is therefore now untrustworthy because of one unrelated race? Wow, crazy. But I'll teach you the code, just like I promised. I can, I can tell you only once though, so, play, so pay close attention. Are you ready? Wow, I could really use some uh, Vicks Vapo Rub. I could really use it. The code is 41325. The entrance to our hideout is in East Clock Town. I guess this is how their mom or something like keeps track of them. She's just like, wear these numbered shirts. That way I know which one you are. You know, am I going to learn like individual like characteristics of your faces, of your personalities? No, just wear these numbers. I mean, we already know these kids are racist. So probably their parenting is not so good at home. And that's why. And it's not that out of the realm of possibility that their parents only know them by these numbers. 41325. Okay, East Clock Town. 41325. Okay. 41325. <laughs> If you want to pass through here, you have to say the secret code. I need to like rush through this thing. I don't know, like maybe it's not that tight the timing, but like I'm so nervous about running out of time. <laughs> Three, two, five. Um, that's right. If you know the code, you remember, right? Okay, here you go. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. Oh, yeah, and um, the Bombers Secret Society of Justice Forever. Okay, we got the- <laughs> We've got these identical looking little kids. Uh, and they're racist and they call themselves the Bombers? I mean, come on, FBI, they really need to get- They really need to keep a file on these guys. Okay, so there's a spider over there. We can't swim, so it's no use going to that uh, corner with the spider. Let's avoid that spider. Avoid that scotula. Scotula. Tarantula. But, okay, it's it's a it's a combination between tarantula and skull. So it's skulltula? Actually, uh, let's shoot this. Oh, wow, maybe I could be a speedrunner in this game. I'm running through this so fast. Hey, hey, Scarecrow. Absolutely not. What? I'm going so fast, don't you see me? I'm spinning for speed. Oh yeah, this... Oh man, the... The way this room looks is so cool. I love like the... I love the color arrangement. It just... Reminds me of those... It kind of reminds me of those galaxy shirts that uh, were popular for a time with all like the different like... Purples and reds and yellows and stuff and blues and all that but like a little bit better it's a little bit it's 
it's a little bit, you know, more far out, you know? Well, well, a strange looking child has joined me today. Are you a new friend of the Bombers gang? No, I am, in fact, not part of the gang. And I don't know if I would even call them friends. Hmm, your manners seem much better than those of your mysterious friend from the other day. <laughs> That's kind of like uh, Tim the Tool Man Taylor. <laughs> Tim Allen. Oh, man. Tim Allen can play this guy. In uh, the live action adaptation, if there's ever one. That ill-mannered troublemaker from the other day said he'd break my instruments. He said he'd steal my moon's tear. There was no stopping him. Even now, just watch him. He's probably causing trouble around the clock tower. Will you gaze into the telescope? Okay, let's go. Uh, we zoom with A. Ah, there he is. I also used to think he would. I also used to think Skull Kid was a monkey, cause he makes those monkey I like movements. There he goes, he's shaking his he's shaking his fanny at us. Although like American definition of fanny, you know. British definition of fanny is different, it's on the other side. Well, did you find that troublemaker? And that loud noise, what was that? Perhaps another moon steer has fallen nearby. Go through that door and take a look outside. I wonder how that troublemaker got on top of the clock tower. The only way up there is through the clock door, and that only opens on the eve of the carnival. Ah uh, yes, there's like a there's a carnival in this game that everything's leading up to. It's the climax. You got the moon's tear. Its sparkling beauty radiates rather strangely. Okay. Hey. Hey guy, we got the moon tear. What could that troublemaker be doing atop the clock tower? I just hope he's not plotting another one of his no-good tricks. And now we've got the moons here. And there's a worker. Okay. If we're missing anything, Kata will tell us. Oh! It's supposed to be like Tattle and Tell. Tattle Tail. Wait, no, Tattle Tail. They're absolutely. Yeah. Okay, Tattle Tail. It's not Tail. Oh, sh. <laughs> Didn't mean to use my nut. Didn't mean to use my nut. I meant to use Tattle. Alright, so we know where the Skull Kid is. Let's go ask around the clock tower. Maybe we'll learn something. Whoa, look at the time. You don't even have three days left. We got plenty of time. We got plenty of time, Tattle. You may not know this yet, but... You may not know this yet, Tattle, but all we'll ever have is three days left, and... Three days is the maximum amount of time you can have. Oh, Tattle. Okay, so let's go into South Clock Town. South Clock Town, it's a little bit strange that they call it South Clock Town because it's like really center. But you know, that's just how things work. Sometimes like things are named North, South, whatever. And they're... And it's just a matter of how they grew. Like it could have been that there was only North and South. But at some point, they decide to grow. Hey. Wait, wait, hang on. So here's a little, um, Deku flower for us to go into. And, uh, here's another Deku. He's like, hey, uh, this is my private property. Property. Don't try using it when I'm not around. And, <laughs> oh! Jeez. I've already sold out my wares and the carnival hasn't even begun. 
I'm thinking of closing up shops so I can buy a gift for my wife and return her in my village. I've heard that a stone's call stone called the Moon's Tear shines brighter than any other in the land. If you've got one, I'd really like to get it to you. My wife would love it. If you give it to me, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Okay, so... Maybe it'll stop when... Maybe it'll stop and prompt you whenever you can use an item on someone. Ah, that stone. You must hand it over to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot here. Deku flower included. Yes? Yes! Property! The way to get rich, folks, is to accrue property. Right? The more property you accrue, the richer you can get because you can then become a landlord. You can then lease that property and get sources of passive income. That's what the board game Monopoly is about. It's about showing the power of having property. It's about showing the how the more property you have, the more impossible it, come, it becomes for other players, other people out there to catch up to your wealth. You really helped me out. Now I have the perfect souvenir for my wife. She hasn't set out, set eyes on a jewel or... What? She hasn't set eyes on a jewel or strange sparkling stone like this in a very long time. The title deed for this spot should be in high demand among Deku Scrubs, but you already know that. So I guess he's a Deku Scrub too. Maybe. I don't know. If you don't need it anymore, you can always sell it. I think... Aw. Look at that dog. Stupid dog. I really hate this dog. Man. Here we go! Heart Beast! The door to the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight on the eve of the carnival. You get a piece of heart. Like four. And you can get... I hate that stupid dog. I hate that dog so much. I wish someone would tame it. I don't know if it's like a stray dog, like, or a feral dog, or what have you. I don't know if it has an owner. But someone needs to take care of that dog. Like, that dog is a menace. Maybe they don't, maybe they don't care now, because that dog's only attacking a uh, Deku Scrub, and everyone here is like racist against Deku Scrubs. But hey, that dog, I don't think that dog really understands that that's a Deku Scrub. And it'll just go anything it perceives as weaker than it. So that dog could be coming after your baby. Just think about that. Once you deposit some rupees, nowadays even if people have money, they don't deposit any. Nothing, nothing. But for a limited time, I'll give you a special gift based on how much you deposit. For example, if you deposit 200 rupees, you'll get an item that holds a lot of rupees. So what'll it be? I'll deposit some rupees. So... Here you go. Here's 34. Get anything for 34? Seriously? That's a lot, a lot. Hello guy, what's your name? Hmm, P is it? Got it. I won't forget your deposits. Let me stamp you with my special ink. Hey, relax. It doesn't leave any marks. And it's not gonna hurt. Wait, what did she mean? What? Wait, what do they mean? There. Now I'll know when I see you. Alright, little guy. Now I've got a total of 34 rupees from you. Come back and deposit some after you save up for it. I don't understand the stamp thing. If it doesn't leave any marks, then how is it going to last long enough for us to make return trips? And for that person to know that we've got, uh, money in a bank. Like, I know that they do remember, but it's just like, shouldn't you be with parents? Go on, get. It, it just doesn't make sense to me. You know, it's another one of those big old, 
plot holes. Maybe it's magic. Maybe a fairy did it. I don't know. Yeah. Welcome. Hey, you're just a Deku Scrub kid. So, no one is interested in selling us anything because we've got... Because we're Deku Scrub. Everyone hates Deku Scrubs. You know, it might be our age, it might be our race, it might be a combination of both, but like... People do not want to mess with us. Yo, hey, I'm a styling scarecrow, wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till dawn. Shall we dance? No, not, not now. I'm gonna search around. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, come back anytime you want to do a dance. By the way, I know a mysterious song that allows you to manipulate the flow of time. You want to learn it? Sure. Oh yeah, now listen up. You play that strange song backward, you can slow the flow of time. And if you play each note twice in a row, you can move half day forward through time. How's that? Pretty interesting, isn't it? I'm sure I'd like any song written by you, but... You better, baby. If you like, you can play one for me. Okay, this... Ooh. That Scarecrow comes on strong. Like, that Scarecrow wants to, like, catch a case. Which means getting mighty small. Dawn of the second day, 48 hours from rain. And as we know... As we know, um, the carnival, when the carnival comes on the third day at like midnight or something, that's the only time the clock tower opens up, so we've still got time. You can't use any of them. You can't use any of them, but feel free to look around. Okay, so this guy will sell us stuff. Um, we can't use these items like you said, but he'll sell us stuff. He's not, he's not judgmental. You know, he's like, hey, I'll let anyone have a bomb. There'll be a fireworks show on the night before the convo. You should go see it. Come again. Hello. Did you come to buy a powder keg? This is just between us, but I have a huge bomb in the shop that the shop doesn't even carry. Oh, but my product's so heavy, I don't think you can carry it. I'm so sorry I even brought it up. And... Plan moon trip. Experiment memo. Try using bomb powered flight. So, this guy, he's got high aspirations. He wants to go into space. And, you know, it's much like... It's much like the gun control debate. They're like, oh, there are no background checks. They sell anyone... They sell guns to anyone. They'll sell guns to kids. They're like, why won't you... You know, there are probably people out there, some activists being like, Why won't you do a background check on this Deku scrub? Why won't you, like, think before you sell them bombs? And he's like, well, if I think, if I do that, then, hey, I'm selling less bombs. I gotta keep the market open to low Deku scrubs. Hey, do you remember the code? Blah, 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 blah. Okay, yeah, I remember code. This is a place for setting the way of the sword. There's no place for children to play. And this guy was a carpet merchant in Ocarina Time. But he's not on the carpet now. He's like a sword master. He uh, does like sword things. He teaches sword arts. Lottery shot. No one here? Wait. Oh, right back behind there where you can't see him. Would you like a chance to buy your dreams for 10 rupees? Pick any three numbers and those three are picked. You'll win 50 rupees. It's only for the first person. I don't have enough money. No thanks. Aw, too bad. Now's your chance. I don't remember if I ever did the lottery. I don't know if I ever won the lottery in this. I don't know. Although maybe you can cheat because you can rewind time. So maybe you can find out what the numbers are, and then you can go back in time, and then you can win. Can I go in there? Yes. Okay, I can make it. The good scrub playground. Down this hole. Yeah, drop off your kids here. 
drop off the kids at this playground. Well, I guess, like... You don't drop your kids off at the playground, okay? You go to the playground with them and you watch them. Uh, it's not very safe to just drop them off. Unless you have someone else watching them. You know, that's that's a fast track to getting abducted. Uh, how about it? We're open only until the carnival, which is the day after tomorrow. So will Young Pun play? One game is 10 rupees. No thanks, I don't have any money. I don't have any money, dude. Again. Okay. Okay, so I guess... Well, the door to the clock tower opens only once a year, at midnight on the eve of the carnival. So I guess, um... If I want to do some of these mini-games, I should find some grass to uh, grind some rupees out of. Or I should uh, withdraw some from the bank. Because I did deposit 34. I don't think it should be that hard to get like 10 rupees or what have you. Oh, here's some grass. Ah, grass, please don't run away. Please don't run away. All I ask is that you give me some rupees. Yes, you can tell things are a little bit, you know, they're a little bit funky. They're a little bit wacky in uh, Termina. Because the grass, even the grass is like alive and uncooperative. Right? And this is the mayor's residence. There's some lady. She's like, she's vibing. She's like going all... He's just like rubbing herself against his desk. Welcome. Do you have some business? The room on the left is the mayor's room. It sounds like they're having some kind of meeting, I think. The room on your right is the drawing room. And it's also Ma uh, Madame Aroma's office. Madame Aroma? You know, that's a... That's a very sus name. Oh dear, are you a student at Deku Elementary? Where's your teacher? You shouldn't be here. Filter at school next door. Tell your teacher that. <laughs> are the fins damp lately? <laughs> oh, that's the greeting used among us, Zora. Where's your mama, Sunny? Huh? You came here by yourself? Well, aren't you a big boy? <laughs> Oh man, the way <laughs> the way you had to jump and then hang off these doors in order to open them. That's crazy. Is there anything in here? I love how that lady just lets me go into her bedroom. She has a high amount of trust in, in strangers and strange kids. Madame Aroma. I wonder if that's the wife of the mayor, or what? I don't know. Huh? Most of the townsfolk have already taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only, one left are, the only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Hmm, hmm well... You cowards, do you actually believe the moon will fall? The confused townsfolk simply caused the panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled. This is just like... <laughs> this is like... This is just like with COVID. They're just like, oh, COVID's fake news, man. Uh, we, we, we can't ca cancel the carnival. COVID's fake. It, it, it won't kill anybody, it won't, it won't even harm anybody, it's just like a cold. That's what these, uh, these little carpenters or whatever are like. Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Mm. Oh, hmm, well, and then the mayor's here, he's like, Oh, I don't know who I should listen to, like, I'm really worried about re-election. I don't want to make any, like, super, I don't want to make enemies of anyone. I don't want anyone to hate me, so I'm just gonna, like... Uh 
stay in the middle and like not really do anything. Like he's not gonna make the most of his mayoral term. He's just gonna try to be mayor for life or something like that. Are you serious, serious Muto? Seems like a giant hunk chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's operation, but that's if people are here for it. Don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. Hmm. Hmm. If the soldiers wish to run, then run, uh, Vissen. We councilmen will stick to tradi tradition, so they're not carpenters, the councilmen. Yeah. This carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dator? Let's not bring my wife into this. So that is his wife, yeah. Huh? I'll mistake refuge. On with the carnival. You know... I know, I know they're defense units and they have uh, a duty to stay here and protect uh, the people of Clock Town. But when it comes to their, you know, the safety of them and their loved ones, I don't know if I can necessarily blame them for wanting to evacuate from their posts. I don't know. I mean, it's not something, it's not like they can, uh, stop the clock. I mean, it's not like they can stop the moon from falling. This is not, yeah. What I wanted was, uh, I want to check this. Let me check. Uh, Bomber's Weekly News, a special review of the Bomber's Notebook. You too can master it. Seek, and, seek out and troubled individuals and lend an ear. A record of all the troubles you people will meet will be kept in your notebook schedule. Uh, people are being shown in the left column and their schedule appears in the adjacent row. Ah, uh, Bombers Gang keeping tabs on people, checking their schedule. Mmm, not good sign. Blue bars show people's schedules and when notable events occur, something will happen at the time shown. An exclamation mark is added to your notebook when you make a promise or appointment. Be sure to confirm what you need to do. Don't lose heart if you fail to fulfill a promise. Just check your notebook and try again. When you're thanked for easing someone's troubles, take note. By helping someone out, you, someone out, you'll receive a happiness seal. Does everyone just carry like a sticker with them? Try to please everyone. Or is that provided by the bombers gang? Or is that provided by... Do you remember the code? Oh. I need to stop talking to these kids. They always say the same thing. They all got the same, like, little hive mind. Their mother. Or whoever. Their guardians have not raised them for individuality, and now they all think the same thing at the same time. <laughs> it looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's customer, darling. What shall we do, honey? From what I can see, he doesn't seem to be able to carry bombs. Oh my, then he can't play candy garden. Another area for a mini game that we can't do right at this moment. Where are we? Milk bar. Milk bar. Listen, buddy, this is a place adults come to. Come back once you're adult. Aw, oh, man. These weren't. He's wearing these cow print pants. Aw oh, man, look at him. Aw oh, man, he like... These pants, like, wow, they really bring out his curves. Aw oh, man, he he looks like a fine... He looks like... He looks like a big juice... He looks like a big juicy piece of... of beef. Wow. This is what... <laughs> alt alternate world uh, talent. 
he runs he runs or is maybe just a janitor at the milk bar he's no longer running a farm he runs like a milk bar in this uh alternate universe hey what's up oh what a cute guest do you have a reservation where's your mother i'm sorry we're totally booked with reservations please tell that to your mother Everyone assumes we have a mom. Huh? Bah, bother, bother. I'm busy. But they never stop to consider maybe we have a different family situation. Maybe we have, like... Maybe we have a single father. Maybe we're being raised by our grandparents. Maybe we're being raised by... You know... Some other form of guardian. Maybe we don't have a guardian. Let's consider. Granny's diary. We're going to take a refuge at Romani Ranch tomorrow. I guess it will really fall. Leaving my lifelong home and fleeing is unbearable, but nothing can be done. I think I'll take some of Grampy's favorite books. It is 8.30 p.m. and the stock pot in will now be locking the door. Thank you for joining us. Okay, we got kicked out. What's this? Another minigame place? Ah, uh, yeah, it's a town shooting gallery. Oh, uh, when I saw that fairy, I thought you were that troublemaking brat with the mask. Sorry, but you can't play if you don't have a bow. You know... Usually, like, people that run, like, stalls for games and stuff, they like to provide the equipment for you. That way they have more potential customers. Like, you don't just go up to... You don't just go up to, like, the ball toss guy at a carnival and he's like, Oh, sorry, you had to bring your own balls. No, you don't bring your own balls. Like, he's supposed to provide that for you so you can, like, pay your little money and like, get going. Hey, what's up? La la la. I said I was too loud when I practiced in my room. They got mad. Sigh. Now I'm sad. I'll just stay here all night and away from their pad. You know, they have a point. You know, it's really annoying when you hear someone playing loud music. I should know. On our street, we often get people playing their loud, loud music. And I can hear it right through my window. And it is so grating sometimes. And there's also a person that does a drum practice across the street from us. And it drives me insane. It drives me insane. I wish that they would perhaps like soundproof and their wherever they practice. They practice in the garage. But I wish they would soundproof wherever they practice so that it wouldn't leak out to the entire street. And I wouldn't hear this like uh, this string of contextless uh, beats. And you are a child, so you must go to bed. And, you know, I can understand it. Like, this guy, he's pretty good at his little, um, his little cranky thing. He's a little... He's pretty good at his inter inter instrument. But maybe people don't want to hear the same song over and over. They don't want to hear that stuff. While they're trying to concentrate on other things. You know, he has a room at the inn. These people are probably on vacation. They're probably here for a special time. Bremer, don't be standing around looking at your feet all day. Wah, I won't run. I'm sticking with my parents. I'm different from you cowards. Who's he talking to? I guess he's talking to us, but why is he just like over here looking at this? Recruiting soldiers, protect peace and uphold justice was course recruiter. Listen. Oh, so he's just talking about how he would be a better um he'd be a better like soldier than the soldiers that actually exist. Hey, let's talk to a happy mask guy. What is he? Is he here? Hey guy. <laughs> why hello? Did you find that little imp? If you're getting back my precious item that was that back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. Surely you must be able to find him right away. 
time continues to pass, even as we speak. There are only 29 hours left. Please, do not forget my precious map. Okay, sure, whatever. I thought that he would uh, benefit from some of the information that we found out. From the deed that we got. And such. The great fairy that we met. However, he was not interested. He just wants us to get our ocarina back. Understandable. That's how we progress in the game. But perhaps he would like to just congratulate congratulate us on the progress we have made. Let's see. Let's go into the little sewer place where they uh, bomb guy people. The bombers gang hideout is. Let's go over there and try to get some rupees so we can play like the, the little Deku mini game. Let's go. I want to make efficient use of my time, you know? I want to, like, see what I can do with the time I have. You know, time's money. Money's power. Power's influence. Influence is something you don't want to drive under. Oh man, what? Paddle. What? You don't even know about the Skullchula? It's protected by a hard shell, but its stomach is soft. Oh man. There we go! Oh, got him in this little soft stomach. Ah. Oh. Oh man. You know, in Ocarina of Time, I was getting so many blue rupees. But apparently, they don't want to give me blue rupees. They just want to give me green ones right now. We need one more to, to even try that mini game. You can probably get one more from, uh... We can probably get one more from the grass around there. Let's go. Let's go- let's go try our hand at, you know, some little Deku games. The little Deku, uh, playground. This is third day is coming. Third day is coming. Last day. Last day. <laughs> oh yeah. I guess that's the <laughs> I guess that's the night sound. The night sounds the wolf. The yeah, the morning sound is the you know whatever the, the uh, little chicken sound is. Power sound. Rooster sound. Oh man, let's. And you know the song in the background music? It's uh, speeding up. It's being like, oh man. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know how. I don't know if this moon's gonna fall on us. Oh my god, I'm so nervous. That's what the background music's calling us. Whoa. Whoa. Hey guys. Even though today is actually the eve of the carnival, no one has come in. That's quite rare. Now's your chance, young one. Will you play? Sure, sure let's go. Alright then, use this Deku flower and have fun. If the time it takes you to get all the rupees is faster than the current record, you get an extravagant prize. But if you fall down just once, it's all over. Okay. Best time for today's game is 1.16. Get all the rupees faster than that. Okay. Burn into Deku Flower, the game begins the moment you jump out. Oh man. Oh man. Okay. We can we can wait. We can wait for it. Oh, okay. 
Okay, okay, at least we didn't fall. These middle ones are gonna be... Whoa! Oh, no! Oh, no. Too bad you're done. Oh, gosh. I was gonna say the middle ones are gonna be the easiest, probably, because they... Because it's not as far away for us to get. You know, they're very close to you guys. To each other. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, we got to keep that rupee. So, in fact, uh, we can play one more time. We can play one more time before we have to grind some more rupees. Let's go. The thing about these outer ones is that they move, like, pretty fast for what they are. Yeah, it's just gonna be safer to go to this one. It's always gonna be safer. Ah! 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 We got it. Folks, we got him. <gasps> ah! We got that one. Okay, that, that one wasn't a great... Uh, that one wasn't great, so I didn't want to, like... Oh, no! Uh... Ooh... Ooh... Oh, no! Too bad, you're done. Okay. Okay, so we have three rupees. We need seven more. We need seven more to try again. You know, we're getting better. We're getting better. We got more that time. Um... The secret is just to figure out when to press that button and release us so that we can fall. It's not like the fastest fall ever. So it's not going to be so easy for us to just like land on the pieces we want to land on. We had to do a little prediction. We had to like predict that uh, when they're going to be under us. And we're going to have to fall a little bit before they're under us so that we land on them properly. Okay, we have 10 more. Let's let's go do it again. This is what we'll do until we hit midnight and the clock tower opens up. Or at least close to midnight. And then we'll go over there so that we're there when it's midnight and the clock tower opens up and we can go up and uh, tell Skull Kid to give our ocarina back. Let's go. One sixteen. One sixteen is like a pretty long time, so it's mostly about. So I don't predict the problem is going to be time. It's just going to be. Oh, it's just going to be not falling. I think the time issue is not uh, so large. I think it's the platforming issue that's the issue. Deposit mail here. Ka ching Press start to open the item selection. Thank you for using post description. Ka-ching! So here we have post boxes that like talk to you. They have like a little automated message. It's a little bit cool. You know, high tech for the times we live in. I I don't think yeah, I don't think we're act we're reading something. I think it actually is a voice that's calling us. Ah, well, let's go get more rupees. And then we can't go outside. The guards will block us from going outside.
So we've got limited options for grinding rupees. Although I could choose to grind rupees to get 200 so that we can, uh, this spider back? Oh, spider stays dead. Wow. The Skulltrilla? Skulltrilla? Stays dead? Um... So we don't have that as a source for rupees. But that's fine. It only gave us one rupee before, so... It's not such a big deal. And now it's about to enter into... And we're about to en yeah, we entered into night. It's the final night, as you can see on the bottom of the screen. It's pretty cool, this clock. Like, it looks pretty cool. I don't know how practical the clock is. Like, I'm not able to... Like, if you had this clock on your wall, I don't know if you'd be able to very easily eye what time it is. Or what time... or how much... Um, each rotation of this sun is. I guess each rotation of the sun... in the middle... moves up one hour. Right? Yes, it does. Can we do one more run? One more run of the... Uh, the Deku game before... We hit midnight and have to go up the clock tower? I think so. They don't take that long. I don't know if transitioning through screens uh, eats up more time than normal, but... Let's, let's see. I really want... <laughs> yeah, 9, 9, 9. Okay, we've got... We've got 3 hours. we got 3 hours. Come on. Let's go. Uh, let's speed it up. Okay. Let's go. This one is so easy, it's almost guaranteed. Of course, it's not completely guaranteed because we did not get it last time. We actually fell when we tried to. Whoa! You know, it does bring us at kind of an angle when we try to get one of these. Uh, uh. Okay, so we missed that. We missed that. We're done. Uh, that's probably the last time we can do it. You know, we've only got five rupees. We can grind a little bit more rupees, but I think the time is getting very close to... 12, it's getting very close to midnight, so we should be getting over that clock tower. Uh, oh, ah, ah. Yeah, it's 11, 11, you know what's after 11? 12. And 12 is midnight, that's what it's called. You know why? You know why 12 is called midnight? Because m night is thought to uh, happen at like 6 p.m., uh, 1800, and... It's thought to end at the next... Uh, it's thought to end at 6 a.m. Which is the morning. And... 12, 12 is right between those two sixes. That's why it's called midnight. Did you know that? Did you know that? It's educational, the stream. Let's go! Fireworks are coming. A little head thing, hammer is extending. It's... I don't know how this clock tower works. <laughs> I don't... I don't really get it. <laughs> Who built this clock tower? Like, what, what is the purpose of the clock going that way? Well, we got the deed, so we have this. We have this place. Wow, that moon is so big. That, that moon's coming right for us. Don't stop now. Look, you can get up there now. Okay, Tattle. I know that. I can see with my own eyes that there are stairs. I can see it's an open passageway. We, you don't need to tell me that. 
Whoa. And here we are, that Skull Kid. Skull Kid with his big old moon. He's got an ocarina, he's twirling it. Sis. A family, uh, t ah, Tail. We've been looking for you two. Hey, Skull Kid, what if you get that mask you're wearing back now? Hey, come on, are you listening? You know, earlier, you know, Skull Kid was shaking his moon at us. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon, hurry. The four who are there, bring them here. Don't speak out of line, stupid fairy. No, what are you doing to my brother? Skull Kid, do you still think you're our friend after that? Well, whatever. Even if they were to come now, they wouldn't be able to handle me. Hey <laughs> hee. Just look about you. If it's something that can be stopped, just try to stop it. So Skull Kid, he's gone a little bit crazy. He's turning on his friends, the fairies. He's smacking them around, which is not what you want to do with your friends unless your friends Unless you're like boxing friends or something like that and you love to do little spars. But you know, it's all about context. There we go, snot bubble. Take it. Hey. You got Ocarina back. You got the Ocarina of Time back. Princess Zelda gave you this precious instrument. Set it to C and use A in the four C directions to play it. Press B to stop. Suddenly the memories of Princess Zelda come rushing back to you. You are already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? Even though it's only a short time, I feel I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days we spent together in Hyrule. Peeping in the window, looking at Ganon. And I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. Until that day comes, please take this. I am praying. I am praying that your journey will be a safe one. If something should happen to you, remember this song. And remember the spit I'm leaving all over this ocarina. This reminds me of us. Yes, right A down, right A down. Song of Time, we remember this from before, all we did la that time. All we did in our previous game with the Song of Time was we, we mostly just moved blocks around. It didn't really do that much of time. It just like simply moved blocks around. And it opened the tempo of time. Uh, but mostly it's a block mover. <laughs> you remember the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges of your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. Yeah, but I guess in this game... In this game, the Song of Time has... Because I guess we're in Termina, and Termina things are a little wacky. The Goddess of Time is protecting you. If you play the Song of Time, she'll protect you. Um, I guess in Termina, things are a little wacky. Things are a little bit different. You know, the same things that were in the Land of Hyrule, in Termina. Uh, they're certainly twisted, you know. So now the Song of Time, I guess it will control time now. Snap out of it. What are you doing lost in memories? Get yourself together. Getting that old ocarina back isn't going to help us. Listen, this is magic. This is magic. Now. It'll help us more than you will. Somebody, anybody, God's the time. Please help us. We need more time. Let's go. Let's play that. Let's play that funky music. Huh? When did you get that instrument? Did you? Oh, yeah. It transforms. That's why Tyler's confused. She's like, what? I thought you picked up an ocarina. Why do you have trumpets now? Save and return to the dawn of the first day? Sure. I guess she... 
Yeah, I, t I see how that would comp be confusing. I would thought, like, maybe Tattle was just not paying attention. I thought that, you know, she was having a little Navi moment, not watching the stream. Not... <laughs> not picking up what information's being laid down. But, yeah. Yeah, it would be surprising that, uh... Ooh. It would be a little bit surprising that, um... An ocarina would cause trumpets to come out. They're not even... They're not even quite the same family of instruments. I mean, they still win, but they're like brassy. What what just happened? Everything has started over. Yeah, we ran out of time. It's a good thing you pray to the gods of time. And not any other goddess. Like, you didn't play you didn't pray to the goddess of like farts or something. You prayed to the goddess of time, she was like, hey, you picked right, and then she sent you back in time. What what are you anyway? That song you played, that instrument. That instrument. Wait, that's it, your instrument. The mask salesman said if you got the back the precious thing that was stolen from you, he could return you to normal. Yes. And this time it was the skull kid that got it, not Marissa. She did not steal the precious thing. Did you completely forget or what? I didn't forget. You forgot, Tattle. Then let's stop your projection, okay? Let's stop it, huh? It's important not to... It's important to be self-aware and not to push our faults onto others, Tattle. Hey, what's up? <laughs> Were you able to recover your precious item from that in? Oh, 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 you got it, you got it, you got it. Then listen to me. Please play this song I'm about to perform and remember it well. Left, right, down, left, right, down, left, right, down, left, right, down. Okay, I got it. You know, it's always a lot easier to play these songs that are simply just repetitions of three notes. Dun, dun, dun. I have more try trouble like remembering the songs in Ocarina of Time that were not simply just repeating three notes. Like the warp songs. Ooh. We're saying goodbye. Goodbye to that Deku Scrub. And we're saying hello to our sweet Hylian body. Check it out. We'll no longer give people splinters when we try to hug them. This is a this is a magic melody that heals evil with magic and troubled spirits, include turning them into mass. I am sure it will be assistance to you in the future. Ah, uh, yes, I give you this mask in commemoration of this day. Fear not, for the mask has been sealed inside the mask. The magic has been sealed inside the mask. When you wear it, you will be transformed into the shape that you just were. When you remove it, you will return to normal. And now we can return... So now we can freely become the Deku Scrub. Or... Uh, freely return back to being a human child, or a Hylian child. You got the Deku mask to keep as a memento. Press start and set to, uh, the C buttons on select item screen, wear the mask, blah blah blah, and have it blah blah blah. <laughs> now, I have fulfilled my promise to you. So please, give me that which you promised me. I'm sorry bro, I didn't get it. Tell me. My mask. You did get it back. Didn't you? What have you done to me? If you leave my mask out there, something terrible will happen. Okay, calm down. We'll get it. We'll get it eventually. Hey, this game's called Majora's Mask. That means we're gonna get it. 
The mask that was stolen from me is called Majora's Mask. It's an accursed item from the legend that seems to have been used in ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears that mask. According to legend, the troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. The Ancient Ones, fearing such catastrophe, sealed the mask in shadow forever, preventing its misuse. But now, that tribe from the legend has vanished, and no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. And of course, I didn't put it in a safe. I just carried it around with me like an idiot. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. I'll do anything to make a buck. I thought I could find the buyer, but I feel it. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was that unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. And now, that imp has it. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quick, ba mask back quickly, or something horrible will happen. I will... I'll stumble over more of my words. I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it. <laughs> really? You'll do it for me? I was certain you would tell me that. You'll be fine, surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths, believe! Okay. So, this guy's got pointy shoes. He's got those shoes that point up. Just like in uh, Aladdin or whatever. I wonder what the purpose of, you know, I don't really know what the purpose of uh, those kind of shoes are. That mask, the Skull Kid uses the power of that mask to do terrible things. Well, whatever it takes, we've got to do something about it. The swamp, mountains, ocean, and canyon that Hale was trying to tell us about. I bet he was referring to the four ears just outside town. There's one in each compass direction. But what do you suppose he meant by the four who are there? I have no idea. He always skips important stuff. I guess we should go on. I know. If we go through the gate straight ahead, we'll be heading into the direction of the swamp. Okay, and the scarecrow told us. Hey, you played the song backwards? Uh, you played the song of time, song of time backwards? Then time is going to slow down. Okay, so let's try. Um, right A down, right A down. So the opposite of that is down A right, down A right. You played the inverted song of time. We're gonna slow down time. We're gonna slow it down. Let's take it nice and easy. And then something we want to do is they're like, hey, the, the kids are like, hey, if you if you were human, we would give you the uh, bomb 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 bombers notebook. But you're not human. What do you want, guy? I'm busy practicing my blow gun. Don't mess with me. So, we'll see if we can talk to one of these bomber gang kids, and they'll give us the notebook. Because the notebook will help, help us, like, uh, keep track of, like, the little side quests and all the NPCs here, and what they want, and then whether we've, like, satisfied them enough, and what their schedules are. When the past three days, you have to say a secret code. Four, one, three, two, five. You know, I kind of have... <laughs> whenever I have to memorize, like, uh, a series of numbers, I always use, like, a not, like, a mnemonic in Japanese, but, like, they're often very nonsensical. Like, for this one, I went, yoi saji go. Uh, yoi saji go. <laughs> Which is, like, good spoon go. <laughs> Your good spoon five? I don't know. But it, it helped me remember. That's right, if you know the code, then you remember, right? Okay, here you go. There's a lot of cool stuff at that telescope guy's place. And oh yeah, and uh the bomber's secret site justice forever. Okay, you have a notebook for me? Yeah. 
one thing we can do is that we can go there and we can get back uh, that moon steer, right? And then we can get that deed and something, 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 something. You know? Who can say? But we've got our sword, we've got our ocarina, we've got... We've got no nuts. Uh, the nuts have reset, we've lost our nuts. Um, so if you want to use any more Deku nuts, we're gonna have to get get them back from pots or to grass or what have you. Uh, we're gonna ignore this. I don't really care about this Kultula. Kultula. And let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's, let's go. Ah, oh, right. And... Yeah, in order to... We don't have like a bow or a slingshot yet. So we're gonna have to switch to our Deku scrub form. Whenever we want to um, do a long range attack. Okay, then you need to cool it on the dramatic slink. Let's go. Back to human. Uh, because people treat us better when we're human. People treat us better when we're Hylian. People don't treat us so well when they're Deku Scrub. Like, it's just... That's how it is. I don't know. The world's a cruel and terrible place. Hey, yo, baby, I'm a silent scarecrow wandering in search of pleasant music. Time will pass in the blink of eye if you dance with me. If you like, baby, we can forget the time and dance till midnight. Shall we dance? No. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. By the way... I know a mysterious song allows you- oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we already know it. Oh, sorry, that's too bad. In that case, let me hear a song written by you, baby. Oh. Oh, baby, that's a nice thing you got there. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. Okay. No, 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 daddy-o. That song doesn't sing to my heart, baby. It has to be something other than all A's. Okay, there we go. We taught the scarecrow. A right, A right, A right, A right, A right. I know a mysterious song. Oh, yeah, whatever, whatever. We, we know it, we know it, we know it. If you like to see me again, play that song you just played for me. See you later, baby. Wow. Ah, uh, look at the... I don't know if you should keep a chicken in that small of a cage. It doesn't seem like it's enough room for it to roam around. It's quite a big bird for a small cage like that. And I don't think it'll be very conducive to its health and happiness. And even if you're keeping it for food, you know, you still need to have it in a more sanitary condition than that. Well, you're a child I've never seen in town before. Are you a new friend of the bombers? I always say that it's important to develop your interests while you're young. You can use this telescope to look around if you're interested. Let's give it a try. Sure. He's gonna, he's gonna encourage our hobby of peeping. Hey, let's go, kid. Let's go, kid, again. He's dancing. He's dancing. He's looking up. He's looking at the moon. Moon. It, uh, oh, it's crying. It's 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 laying out a little eye booger out of this. Here we go. Go kiss eye. Hey, check out this moon. Well, how was it? Blah 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 blah. Let's get that moon steer. I don't know if we'll be able to do that much with the moon steer and the deed and all this in this uh, in this time cycle. But hey, it's always nice to have items, right? Right, right, right. Let's go. And now instead of uh, and now instead of using the Deku Scrub spin to travel a little bit faster, what we're doing now is hey, 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 there's a guy there. I wonder if we 
guess it's a deck is gonna can we attack him? Will it go past the gate? It's not reaching him. Yeah, okay. Whatever. Let's just that. But yeah, for fast travel, as um as low kid, what we do is we roll. We roll instead of spin. You know? Uh, roll and spin in, like, they're very similar actions, they're on- they're just on different axes. You know? Link, he's rotating his body along the x-axis, and, uh, Deku Link, he's rolling his body along the y-axis. Ah. Now, there is an area... There is something a little bit up from one of these. It looks like this hole? Looks like there's a hole in the ceiling. Um, maybe there's something? Let me look up. Mm, can't see anything. Uh, but... Okay. Um, if we go over there, this is cool to look, but like... We have... I don't know if... The there's any point in fighting it at this point. I don't think we can fight it actually because we're in water. We can't fight in water at this moment and we don't have the yeah we don't have the battle capabilities of fighting it right now. Hey what's up? Hey guy you haven't passed my test so how do you know my secret code? Nobody but bombers know that code so why do you know it? Listen guy you're pretty good. You managed to figure out a code that only we know. Now that's something, I like you. What's your name, guy? P, huh? Alright, that Skull Kid broke our rules and is doing all sorts of stuff. I'm making P a new member of the Bombers instead. This is the Bombers Notebook. It contains the words we live by. Read it all over. Read it over. You got the Bombers Notebook, it allows you to keep track of people's schedules. Let's start on a, um... Yeah, blah blah blah. We're... we know how to access it. Find trouble people- 1. Find trouble people and add their names to pictures. Only 20 people will fit in your book. 2. Promise to help them. Mark promises with promise stickers. Never be late with fulfilling your promises. 3. Whenever you solve someone's uh, problem, it makes you happy. So a happy sticker will be added to your book. 4. No removing stickers. Use promise stickers to keep track of everyone until- of people until everyone is happy. Okay. Don't forget the rules. Tato, you tell that cell kid he's out of here. He's been acting like a real jerk lately. Uh, if these people are so invested in other people's happiness, then why are they racist? Why are they racist against Deku Scrubs? That's not making people happy. That's sowing discord. That's making... That's tearing the fabric of... Uh... Termina asunder. Anyway, let's go. The Bomber Secret Society of Justice was added to your notebook. You were taught the secret code. It was added to your notebook. Let's go. Oh man. What's with the way you run, kid? Why are you just fla flailing your arms about, like, on the side? I don't even understand it. You're supposed to pump them back, you know... In front and then back of you. That's how you're supposed to run. You're not supposed to flail around like that. I, I think that's wasted energy. That's not good running forward. Whatever. Um... What time is it? It's 8. It's 8 o'clock. Wow. So early still. So early still. We've got our bomber's notebook. Let's look at the Bomber's Notebook, actually. Let's check it out. We only had the Bomber Society, don't we? Hmm. Where is it? Okay. And I think that indicates, right? I think that indicates that we're done with them. That little star and the little box over there. We're the twin jugglers from the Gorman Troop. We're practicing for the big carnival. It happens once in a blue moon. <laughs> or this year, case, once in a really, really scary big red-eyed moon. <laughs> oh, I hear it's gonna fall harder than the way my clumsy brother is always dropping our juggling balls. Wow. Burned. Roasted. You see, we're entertainers. We must 
keep people smiling, no matter how grim things get. We must always be optimistic. <laughs> okay. Sure. I never look at Oh, this isn't the post office. This is a... This is like the bomb chew mini game place. This is the post office over here. Oh, no, 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 no. That's the milk... The milk... Milk bar. What could this sock pot in? Um, are you staying the night? Yes. Eh? You are staying the night? I'm terribly sorry. There are no vacancies today. We've been booked solid with reservations. It's always been this way before the combo. I'm sorry. I recommend making a reservation next time you want to stay here. Please play the stock pot in a visit in the future. Anju, the innkeeper, was added to your notebook. Here we go. We got Anju. There's her schedule. She's doing things. Um, in noon, uh, noonish, and at the night. That's when she's doing things. Hey, what is, what's up? <laughs> bah, bother, bother, I'm busy. Gorman, leader of the traveling troop. Was added to your notebook. I think I'll do a lot of these side quest things because it's so easy to, uh, be able to tell when to do side quests. It's like, it's very easy to track people's schedules, so it's very easy to get things done. You you know that, you know when you're supposed to talk to people. And you vaguely know when you're supposed to be, where you're supposed to be. The uh, I think this will be a more complete run than my Ocarina of Time run. Oh, Tortoise, did you finish helping Father? Then let me really read your story. Which story would you like to hear? Uh, I'll pass. Anju's grandmother was added to your notebook. Ah, it's so nice that she's taking care of her grandmother. I wonder, if, since she's a worker here, I wonder if her grandmother is getting free lodging. What's this? We're getting so many- Oh, there's bugs in here! There's bugs in your kitchen, bro! There's a little, you know, a little fish place. Cause they like to keep the fish little... Um, they like to keep the fish fresh. That's something, like, a lot of people do, is they keep, uh, fish in a tank. Uh, so that, uh... They only get killed when you're about to cook them. Or sometimes you cook them alive. And that makes it so much more fresh. Because, you know, the moment you kill something, the moment something dies, like, you're on the fast track to decay. It's happening. You know? You can slow it down a bit, but it's it's starting to happen. And, you know? Keeping it alive is a great way to stop decay. You know, prevent decay. And, hmm. Ah, uh, well, that won't work. Mm, no, that's too basic. The Rosa sisters, twin dancers, are adding to your notebook. We're adding so many people to our notebook. It says employees open only. No admittance. We're not an employee. We don't have a job. We're we're just a kid, man. Thinking in other people's rooms, you're the worst. Hey. Hey, we weren't sneaking in. We were just checking things out. Don't be presumptive. Hey, it's that guy who people say is too loud. Do 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 do! Don't speak to her right now. She hasn't spe finished her demo dance for the carnival. Do do da da. Okay, I don't know what that voice is. Even though the song is finished. Guru Guru, the traveling musician, was added to your notebook. You know, uh, Guru Guru is a uh, Japanese onomatopoeia for round and round. That's what the that's what his name basically means. He means round and round because he's like spinning that little crank round and round to make his little music. Ooh, look at those boxes. Leaving your boxes out when you're sharing a room? That's like, that's so uncivil. That's rude, you know? That's, those are considered like delicates. So, you know, because they're delicate matters, you want to keep them low-key. You want to keep them hidden from plain sight. Gorman's gone. You know, I think his schedule has taken him elsewhere. There he goes. There he goes. He's walking. He's walking. He's walking over to the mayor's office. Pause the mail here. I don't have any mail. Oh. 
I'm here in the mayor's office. Oh, mayor's office not open yet. It's only nine, and they open at ten. Ah, bother, bother, I'm busy. Okay, let's, uh, let's, let's go. Let's go. We can do, we can do the Deku Playground, but we have so many more options on things to do now that I don't really want to spend it right now on playing that many games that we've tried a few times already. This poster's nice or a sorry collection of blah blah blah. Hey, what's up? Hey, Councilman? Councilman, can you speak? Tsk! Another all-nighter tonight? I wonder if we'll finish it. Hey, Apprentice, don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. Oh, they're really in crunch time, you know? You hear, about, you hear a lot. You know, a lot of these industries, they're, they're doing this crunch for workers. But the thing is, when you're like... The thing is, when you're... When you're on that crunch... You work it sloppy. And these people, they're doing like hard labor. They're doing like labor involving, uh, uh, you know, these planks of wood and all that. And you don't want to, you want to deal with that, like uh, being shoddy. People could fall through. It could be major danger. It could be major danger. It's locked. Ring this bell, this kid comes out, and then we're like, hey. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe we need to be faster? Maybe we need to be fast to get that guy. Let's run, 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 run. Rolls, 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 rolls. Oh, oh, oh. Nope. Okay. And this is a croaking cog out the croaking frog out here. Um don't know why it's uh you know all that croaking. You think it would stay in the water, you think it would look for some bugs, but it seems to be a little bit distressed. Wait, wait, hang on. We got the moon's tear for you. We got the moon's tear for you. Give me your D. What this? Ah, that stone. You must give it to me. In exchange, I'll give you my spot. Okay. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, here we go. We are now homeowners. We're property owners. I mean, this isn't really a home. I don't know if, uh... I don't know if this is more like a home, or if it's more like a chair or some piece of furniture like that to the Deku community. But we, we own it. We own it now. And we have a deed which suggests... That, yes, we do own land. We are a land owner. We're now in the housing market. Oh, I'm like bumping my desk a lot. Anyway. <laughs> uh, this indicates the next time that you reopen your file and you resume playing at this very place at t current status. Blah, blah, blah. If you read blah, 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 basically, uh, no. I don't want to quit playing right now, but hey, we got South Owl statue unlocked. We know how to save now. Let's go. Okay, so we were just here. We were just here. Um, we go into this milk bar. Yeah, we can go into the milk bar. And then we we'll talk to uh, Mr. Cowpants over here. This bar opens at night, sir. And it's members only. We have a few people who don't have proof of membership. Well, now I'm getting your things ready. So as long as you don't get in the way of my cleaning, you can stay. It's a little odd that 
its members only and op only opens at night. That doesn't seem very uh, profitable. I don't know what their margins are for their customers uh, who buy this milk. But it doesn't seem like that much revenue could be made. It doesn't seem like they could make that much revenue with their current business model because and pay off that large, large business space. That is a very large business space. And one of the things that uh, costs the most in business is real estate. And that's why we're very smart. We're very smart to be able to get that um, that deed to that Deku flower. Uh, trading in something that we just got for free, you know? I'm currently on the job. I stopped talking will disrupt my schedule. The postman. His priority is delivery. Just add it to your notebook. It's now 10. And the, uh, it's 11 now. And now the mayor's office is open. We can go in there. We can figure things out. You know? What's up? <laughs> Do any of these people belong in our notebook? We want to let this mayor's room. It sounds like that happens. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. She's not important. She doesn't have a notebook entry. If they don't have notebook entries, they're not important people. They're simply garbage. They are... The indie... Oh. I skipped so many of this, so much of this dialogue because I didn't think it was important. The Indigo Go Go, uh, the Indigo Go's is the popular group that Uzora is so proud of. They put out long songs. One of the hits is Ballad of the Windfish. You know that song, don't you? Huh? You don't? Really? Even that, even one that famous? Hmm. You'd be able to hear it if the show wasn't canceled. It's such a shame. Toto, the band manager, was added to your notebook. You play it? Can you? Ah. Oh. I thought maybe he teaches to it. I uh, teach it to us. Madam Roma and Gorman, it's been some time. Thank you for laying support for him at this year's carnival time. Oh dear me, Gorman, there's a problem. Meaning? The opening performance I've asked you to do. Ah, uh, yes. They've canceled just now. What's this? Allow me to explain. Oh, excuse me. I am to work at this year's show, or that was a plan. I'm Toto, the band manager of the Zora Band, the Indigo Ghost. You arrived this morning. Actually, there's been an unusual incident at the Great Bay. And due to this unusual accident, Lulu, the diva of the Indiegogos, has lost her voice. Why? Why? The details are quite long, so I'll spare you at any rate. I must cancel our performance at this year's carnival time. This is very common in real life. People cancel performances, vocalists, they'll lose their voice because they don't have the proper singing technique. And when you sing with the wrong technique, you create these little nodules in your vocal cords and you have to have surgery to remove them. And that has uh, quite a bit of recovery time. And man, just, there's so much you can go wrong with, with singing. You really have to find a vocal coach. You have to find someone who can teach you how to use good technique to pervert, to preserve your vocal cords so that you don't end up with uh, very weak performances later in life. You can remember this with Whitney Houston. If, well, she had an okay, well, she was a very great singer, very great singer. But I don't know if she took care of her voice that much. It might have been like other substances. It might have just been her technique. I don't know. But if you listen to her last album, her voice is very reedy. It's very scratchy. And that's because she didn't take good enough care of her vocal cords. And that's something that can happen to a lot of people. Press A. I must cancel a performance at this year's convo time. See? Then this means the Gorman's truth did the job is... I know the press A. I was just talking. I was just letting people know a little bit of important information. That they need to take care of their vocal cords. They need to take care of their bodies. You know, people need to take care of their bodies. It's off. Everyone's talking about mental health nowadays, but we have to think about, you know, physical, bodily health, you know? That's important too. But but that's... You know, people are always like, oh, go to BetterHelp, uh, you know, BetterHelp has those guys you can call up that can be like, hey, uh, don't do it, bro. Uh, be happy. Smile. And they don't have people that you can call up and be like, 
Well, they don't- they're not advertising people you can call up and be like, Hey, my vocal cords are fucked up. And you know what? Maybe you can easily find someone like that. You can just go to a hospital. You can just call a hospital. But you know, hospitals have really long waiting times. They do. They have really long waiting times unless you go to the ER. Unless you go to urgent care. Um, and, man. Uh, healthcare is a mess in many countries. It's not just whatever country you live in. It's a mess in many countries. People are always having medical problems. They're always having trouble accessing medical care. Anyway, that's all, Gorman. Gorman, <laughs> there's always next year. I'm busy with other matters. Madame Aroma. Madame Aroma. The mayor's wife has been added to your notebook. Let's go. More people for my notebook. Completion is going up. We are being... We are one step closer to 100% completion. We're 100% uh, perfect run through. Now let's see if we can add the mayor and his councilman and whatever into our notebook. Most of the time the town spoke. Oh, what? Whatever. We... Yes. We know. We know. We know. Guards want us to evacuate. Councilmen do not want to. The mayor is like, mm, I don't know. If we shut down the carnival, we're going to lose all this money. We know our business. Everything depends on it. The economy. The economy. But they're like, hey, the health of people. The health of people triumphs over everything. Have you heard of Laszlo's? Uh, hierarchy of needs the very 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 bottom the base of the pyramid is physical health and physical health will not be it will not be intact if the moon falls on your body man if you get crushed by the moon your physical health is ruined and the Laszlo hierarchy of needs that pyramid crumbles down are you serious Muto? well whatever we can skip all this because we've read, read it before okay are you guys bringing my notebook? Let's not bring my wife into this. Mayor the tour has been added to your notebook. Let's go. We're keeping tabs on everybody in this town. Let's go. What? We're rolling. We're rolling. We're rolling. We're literally rolling. Uh, let's, let's restore the Great Fairy. She said, hey, if you get back to your original form, come over to me. Come over to me. Uh, drop, uh, drop me a line and I'll help you out. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Put that body back, sister. Let's go. This is one of those fall girls, you know, those girls that, that, you know, they live for fall. Uh, except, you know, it's not like the Christian girl, Autumn. That girl wears like a bunch of coats. She gets all those extensions, all those extensions. She, you know, she likes to get cozy and layered up. This girl doesn't. She just wants to wear leaves instead. But you can tell, you can tell. She's like, she's one of those, uh, fall girls. She, she gets the pumpkin spice. Ah, oh, Tado. And you, kind young one. Thank you for returning my broken cider body, the normal, and the great fairy magic. For now, this is all I can offer you and allow me to ease your weirdness as my token of gratitude. I wasn't... Well, okay, I did have a little bit of magic loft. Oh, kind young one. Scattered throughout the four temples of this land are broken stray fairies like me. Please find a way to save them and return them to their fountain. Surely they will be able to add to your strength. Allow me to grant you something good so that the stray fairies will not fear you. The stray fairies won't fear us if we're wearing this mask. Everyone else? Ooh, you know. It's a coin toss. You know when you're close to a fairy who's lost in the temple, if the mask's hair begins to shiver, shimmer. Let's go. Come and come see me whenever your quest has made you weary. So when we have this, when we're entering a temple, we can wear this mask, we can tell. Very nearby, very nearby. You know, when we were collecting the golden skotulas, skotulas, in uh, Ocarina of Time, in those dungeons, all we had to think of was like, hey, are we hearing a sound? Are we hearing a sound right now? Let's look for 
Let's look around for one of those like little funky little spiders. Uh, but here we wear a mask and we see if our hair glitters. Yes. Majora's Mask, it's not just about Majora's Mask, it's about many masks. We are living in a mask-based economy in this, uh, in this Render Zelda. I mean, in this iteration of The Legend of Zelda. This training center has a friendly, polite, 24-hour, one-on-one training that will, uh, noticeably improve your sword skill. For now, until the end of the carnival, join at a special discount. So will you try it? I can try the novice course. Hmm, the novice course. Now then, before you draw your sword, I shall teach you the basics of unarmed combat. I'll start with sideways jumps. After pressing L to lock onto that log with L targeting, press A while pushing control stick left or right. Okay, okay, let's see. Right yourself. Oh, wrong. Jump sideways. Sorry. Sorry, dude. Sorry. Next is roll attack. After pressing L to arrow target, uh, press A while pushing blah blah blah. Okay, we know. We know. Backflip. We know this. We play Ocarina of Time. Oh, we didn't. Uh, we need 6Z target now. Okay, come on, come on. Yeah, do not L target. Let's go. Vertical cut. You know, in Skyward Sword, they have these, like, directions, but they're, like... You have to use your Wiimote in a very, uh... In a very specific way. Uh, that's why they have the Wii Remote Plus, for you to be able to have that sensor pick up your movements. Uh, in a more precise way. Okay. Uh, next is thrust. After pressing L to L target. Push. Okay. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. L targeting. It went off because we got too far away. Finally, jump attack. Uh, press A after drawing your sword and L targeting with L. Again. Oh, you know? Something, something, something that we have is we have the hero shield. I think this is different from the Hylian shield. Maybe. Because in Zelda in Zelda the Ocarina of Time when we had the Hylian shield which is our steel one as a kid we could not wield it in front of us. It was too large. We could only yield it on our back. And here we have a different one. A one that is different from the Hylian shield, it's similar, it's similar, but we can wield it in the front, and which is very useful. And this will not catch on fire, like the Deku shield would have. Because that Deku shield was made out of wood. And, you know, as we all know, wood catches on fire. We hear this every year. You know, there's all these wildfires up in uh, the west coast in America, in, uh, in Australia, there's, uh, there's been like, you know, crazy wildfires there. The wood catches on fire, guys. Wood catches on fire. And here, we have a steel one, which is very great. Very great. Love that they're starring us out with this. It shows. It shows some progression between the two games. Link is a little bit upgraded here. Link's a little bit upgraded here. The expert course is a practice session. Cut down 10 logs using highly difficult techniques. If you score a perfect 30 points, you should be taught all the secrets. Have you prepared? Okay, let's try this. Your training is insufficient. You must jump more. Start from the start over from the very beginning. Ah, uh, we must jump more. We need to do jump attacks. 
I guess. Okay, we don't have enough, uh, we don't have enough rupees to do another practice session. But hey. Very rare. It's very rare that we will, uh, get something our first try. That's... You know, that's very, that's basically a crapshoot. Welcome. Let's talk to the shopkeeper. We're expecting to get our larger bomb bag back in stock soon. Now that I think about it, it's already too late. Okay, we don't have a bomb bag. Oh, here's a bomb bag, right? We need 50 rupees for a bomb bag. And then we can't buy this powder cake because we're too because we're too small. It's too heavy for us. This is what what they sell in here. Uh, they sell shield, some bottled stuff. Oh, here's a place where we can uh, summon that guy. Oh, how beautiful. The Scarecrow song. Hey, what's up? Yowza. Oh yeah, we meet again, baby. We're great playing as usual. Okay, I don't think there was any point to summoning him there. But hey. We did it. We did it and we know he'll come. We know he'll come. And knowing... Curiosity shot open at 10 p.m. Here's the bank. Uh, we don't have... We don't have any use. We don't want the rupees just yet. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's... let's walk around. Who we not talk to? Who have we not added to our notebook? Let me see. Who have we added to our notebook? Who haven't we added to our notebook? Right now... Things happening. Anju's grandma. Uh, nothing happening. Okay. So. I don't know if there's anything we can do with any of these townsfolk just yet. Uh, but if there's not. If there is not, then what we can do is we can simply go outside to the swamp. Let's head on out. Which direction is the swamp? Up right there. Have you an air in the mountains? It's dangerous outside the swamp, so I cannot allow a child like you to. A sword? My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. The mountains of Snowhead lie this way. Be careful. It's like saying, like, oh, wow, I can't let a kid through here. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, child? Ten-year-old? You have a... You have a gun? Okay. Go on by. You're basically an adult. We saw that. We saw some song or something that we can learn. Let's avoid this Dodongo. I don't want to deal with that Dodongo. We don't want to deal with uh, enemies right now. Because we are not... Um, we are not used... We are not equipped for much. We don't have a lot of things. And the Dodongos, as we know, they love bombs. They love to, like, stuck on those bombs. They're bad for them, but, like, they love to do it anyway. They've got a uh, self-destructive nature. They've got an addiction to their bombs. But... We don't have bombs. We don't have a bomb bag, so we can't get bombs. Where is that song? Where is that graffiti that we saw earlier that had all the buttons on it? All those button bombs. There are quite a few things on this map that have like a little... 
that have like little uh, yellow red icons on them. And I assume that it, that's maybe um, letting us know that those are entrances to somewhere. Maybe they're holes. Maybe they're NPCs. I'm not sure. I don't think there are many NPCs on the map for us to actually talk to. But hey. Well, we can check. We can check some of these out. We can... We can easily do that. I mean, like... Oh! Ah, ah, I see, I see, I see. These, uh, these icons mean chess. There are chess on this map. Wow. It's like having an automatic compass. So, what we can do is we can dive, and then... And the button prompt changes to open. Oh, why won't you open it, Link? Oh no. Maybe we can't get that right now. Maybe we can't get that right now. Maybe we need something like the iron boots. We maybe we need uh, the ability to uh, stand underwater or something like that. Or maybe we need to be able to dive for a longer period of time. But hey. We can always come back, the icon's on the map, we're gonna remember it. Because we can see it. There's no chance we're gonna forget it. So, let's get going. Oh, here's a little Deku flower thing. Is there a chest right here? Yes, there is! There's a chest up here. How we get up here? Okay. Okay, so... It seems as though, it seems as though, we might be able to get up there if we use a Deku Flower. I am not completely certain, but hey, it, it's always worth a try. Deku Flower, come on. We'll sink into it. We'll shoot, 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 shoot. And that's too far away. That's too far away. That's okay. That was worth a try. That was worth a try. It looks like there's another icon right here. Another treasure icon right here. Is that going to give us something that will help us get that other treasure chest? Maybe a hookshot? I don't know. It's too early to get a hookshot. Of course, it's not going to be a hookshot. Let's... What is it? It's a red rupee. We've got 20 rupees. That's pretty nice. It is pretty nice. We're broke right now. Later in the game, like, it's very easy. L later in the game, it's very easy to get full up on your rupees. It's easy to get a lot of rupees flowing in that wallet. But right now... Okay. We... <laughs> Oh, here. It's a little, there's a little drawing. Looks like a duck. Doesn't it? It looks like a duck. That's Donald Duck! Oh man, Disney's lawyer's gonna be on this. Oh, I remember this. Tail and I drew this with the Skull Kid when we first met him. It reminds me of uh, Kingdom Hearts, because in Kingdom Hearts there's like this little cave in the beginning area in Destiny's Island. Where they do little doodles, and if you look closely at the doodles, you can see like uh, drawings of little Disney characters like Donald Duck, maybe. He told us that he had been fighting with his friends and that they had let them all alone. Aww. It's probably because he sucks. He has a bad personality. Have you ever considered that? Maybe he's friendless because he doesn't have a friendly personality. Huh? I wonder how well they can fly in the rain, because like, oftentimes rain will impede on flying animals' ability to fly because it weighs their wings down. It messes with their aerodynamics and everything. head actually like it's like it's kind of like an onion or something or a clove of garlic i don't know or a nut <laughs> yeah it looks more like a nut before you crack it 
I don't know. I don't know why they call them Skull Kid. I don't know why they call them Skull Kids. Because, like, their faces don't look like any recognizable skulls. They just kind of look like nuts. They should call them Nut Kids. I'm pretty sure it was because he was playing, always playing tricks, so nobody wanted to play with him. See? I told you. Like, a lot of times, some of these people, they, have them, they don't have any friends because they're not friendly. They're always antagonizing people, and they're like, hey, why is no one like me? They're pushing people away. They're setting themselves up for failure. But to do what he did just because of that. Oh no. He knocked that mask salesman out. Oh, he has like a little dart shooter. Maybe he's like a, a tranquilizer dart? I don't know. And once he got his power, Again, incredibly stupid. Incredibly stupid for the, um, for the mask salesman not to lock up his mask in some way. Oh, hey, there's Tingle. Ah, treasure chest. Probably some rupees in- Oh. I didn't mean to go back up the hole. I wanted to stay in the hole. <laughs> hey, we got a Deku stick. Now we can light on fire. We are taking it. Like I'm not, uh, I'm not dodging the hits so well. Oh wow, they're respawning. They're respawning. We got red rupee, and it's time to get out. Hmm, time to get out. It might not be so hard to get the adult wallet that the bank uh, teller was talking about. Let's use our Deku whatever, our, our Deku mask, so that we can turn into Deku and spit our snot at him. What's up, single? What's this? Green clothes, white fairy, sir, please write blah 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 blah. <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. He has such a large nose, wow. His nose takes up half his face. Would you buy one of Tingle's maps? Uh, sure, let's buy the wood ball map. Okay, yippee! Yippee! Yippee guy! Okay. Now we have the woodfall map, and we're good to go. I do want to check out this area to... Wait, let me see. Swamp shooting gallery ahead. Mm. Swamp shooting gallery. Um, you know, that's the... It's like just a minigame thing, I, I would assume. Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. Swamp tour sensor. Wow. Hear that? Fresh spring. Fresh spring water. You know, other companies like Nestle and such, they are actually... They go after these springs and lakes and they just drain the water. So they can bottom up or they can, uh... <laughs> use them for their beverages. And 
God. There's always so much controversy over that. You can read about the controversy. You can read about the controversy yourself. I won't really go into it, but you can read about the controversy yourself. I'm just like letting you know. It's out there. You know, it's out there just like the aliens. Hi, mate. Oh, I. Oh, how are. How, how are you? That's what he means. No thanks. Uh... I don't want to play the game. We'll leave mini games uh, for when we have more money. When we have more money to spend, we'll come back to these mini games. We'll, okay, we'll drop them down. We'll say, hey, money's no object to us. So, you better trade them in for something that is an object to us. Like upgrades to our items. I mean, to, yeah, upgrading items or, I don't know, things like heart pieces or passages to other areas of the game. Okay, now we're in a southern swamp. Hey, frog. We zoomed in on that frog. So I assume that frog is a little bit important, at least. Okay, we recovered some of our health. We recovered our magic. Uh, sudden swamp tourist information up ahead. Oh, Al Statue. Here we go. Can we play something? No. It doesn't really give us a prompt. Let's see. Let's see if we can get to. Yes, looks like there's another Deku there. Another Deku with some... That might want... This deed! What? I didn't see... What's here? Thanks for stopping by. You're not from here, are you? I sell magic beans to Deku Scrubs. I'd really like to leave my hometown. I'm hoping to find some success in a livelier place. But to open a business in another place, you have to go through proper channels first. Oh yeah, I know what I mean. There's a lot of red tape when you're trying to start your own business. There's a lot of red tape. Uh, and there's a lot of like zoning laws you have to keep in mind. You know, people are like, oh, why are, are cities designed? Why are some cities designed the way they are? They're so funky. Like, there's not a lot of like walkability. There's not a lot of uh, integration between the residential and the business. And so it creates all these environmental problems. It creates it creates all these like practical uh, transportation problems as well. And the reason for a lot of that is zoning laws, man. Some places are only zoned for one thing: business or businesses, or some are specific type of businesses or residential or specific type of residential, like single family homes or uh, rental properties. It's all crazy. It's all crazy and it just kind of like... Uh, creates... Headaches for a lot of people. And it's not like a political spectrum thing. You know? I think it's like across the political spectrum people have different problems with it. And... So... Yeah, I would just say... Hey, I understand you brother. You know what I mean? Yes, I do know what you mean. Let's start to open and select screen. Here, here, here. Take this deed. Oh, that's a Townland title. That's a Townland title deed. I wish you'd let me have that. I'll give you this land in return, deal? Okay, sure. You traded your land title deed for a swamp title deed. I'm going off to town right now. I'll leave the rest up to you. Now we can use this to get up to that heart piece, I think. I think... Okay, we'll see if Deku Link can uh, reach. Okay, let's go. Can we reach? Can we... Yes. Another heart piece. I think we're halfway. Yeah, we're halfway to getting another heart. Our first uh, extended heart. 
Let's go. This is not a three heart run. This is as many hearts as I can take run because I'm not good at dodging enemies. I'm not good at uh, avoiding damage. So I need all the help I can take. Let's go. Tourist information? Who would take a tour of this swamp? Let me ask you. Who would take a tour of this swamp? Blimey. Where is he? That spoiled child is off playing hooky again. A child his age has no business searching for fairies. Oh, this is Tingle's father. Oh, hi, well, welcome. <laughs> well then, why don't you show me the pictograph you've taken? I have not taken a pictograph. I don't have a camera. J sir? Huh? Is this your first time entering the photo pictograph contest? Well, the Swamp Tourist Center is currently holding a pictograph contest. It's open to all ages, from children to adults. For nice pictographs taken in the swamp, a free boat cruise will be awarded awarded as a special prize. I can't read. I cannot read. Uh, what's up? I I graduated college. Uh, I can't read. <laughs> so, would you like to enter our contest? Oh, but to enter, your first you first must take the boat cruise. Boat cruise reservations are handled at that window over there. If you're interested, go for a ride. We might be interested. We might be interested. I don't know if there's anything else we can do, so let's just take a boat ride. Let's just take a boat ride. Whoa! It's closed! Please inquire at the Magic Hacks potion shop near the edge of the swamp. Jeez. Okay. So, we have to find these Magic Hacks potion shop. Now, where can we go? Where can we go? Oh, oh, I see that big old Octorok waiting for us. I see him. It's at the edge of the swamp, so... Maybe we'll have to... I I assume it's at a closer edge of the swamp. It's this one. Uh, we'll change to the Deku Scrub so that we can hop across this water. We can hop to these lily pads. Like, these lily pads exist for a reason. Are they going to fall if we stay on them? No, they're, they're not. They're not. They're not. We're fine. We're good. We're Gucci. We're the Goo Goo Gaga. Okay, let's go. Bye. Okay, let's... Magic Hacks Potion Shop up ahead. Okay, we're exactly where we need to be. Oh man. Ah, 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 ah. I don't know why I ran into that and, you know, went to fight it because it wasn't giving us anything useful. We could just avoid it. Let's just roll past them. The thing we have to remember about this is like, unlike Zelda 2, we don't get experience for fighting enemies. So if we can avoid fighting enemies, let's just do that, okay? Like, maybe sometimes we'll need items from them. We'll, we'll want like bombs or arrows or potions or whatever. But when, when that time comes, we'll do that. And for now, we'll just avoid them. Okay, so let's just go and... Whoa, they got all these pots. I guess they are potion sellers. They probably brew a lot of their potions and s store them in these pots. But... Please feel free to take our fresh spring water home with you. Swamp Tour Center. Okay, they really want you to take this water with you. But we don't have a bottle. We don't have a bottle to take any of this with us. Okay, let's go. Let's let, uh, cl climb up this ladder link. Come on. Oh, and here's the. It's shaped. It's shaped like a. It's shaped like a jug. That's how you know it's a potion shop. It's shaped like a jug. That's why whenever you go to like a restaurant or something, like the restaurant building is always shaped like a hamburger. Hey lady, you sleeping? Business that slow, huh? Tee hee hee, welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Are you by chance a boat cruise customer? How unfortunate. Kolme has gone into the woods out back looking for mushrooms. So if we remember, Kolme and Kotake were... Uh, the twin Rova sisters, uh, surrogate mothers of Ganon in Ocarina Time. But here they are running a potion shop instead in Termina. And they both have like these mushroom names. Mm 
And that's why they're looking for mushrooms, I suppose. It's like nominative uh, determinism. Their name determines their destiny. Hmm. Now that I uh, think about it, she's, come, she's a bit late coming back. Wow. Say, could you go find her for me? Let's go. Come on. Let's go. Hmm. Yes. It's easy getting lost in these woods. In those woods. Ask the monkeys that live there. Sure. I'd love to ask the monkeys, man. I love monkeys. I, I don't know about interacting with them. I've never interacted personally with a monkey. I've seen them. I've seen that at the zoo. So from a distance, I like monkeys. But... Up close and personal? I don't know. I cannot say. Okay. Oh, neither for say. Woods of mystery. Be beware of ferocious turtles. Oh man, it's the Lost Woods theme. That means this VOD is gonna get copyright claimed by someone who doesn't own the copyright. Someone who's just doing like a cover or something like that. Hmm, follow me. Sure. Just roll past these turtles. And let's try not to fall too far behind. Hey, there you go. Oh, ow, 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 help me. Hey, what's up? I was just busy minding my own business, picking mushrooms, when BAM! I got hit from behind! That pesky skull kid, did he think an old hag wouldn't recognize him if he hit his face? Oh, oh, to think he's that powerful and now I can't even move! You... Don't you have anything that gives you energy? Like painkillers? I say... You're not at all what you make yourself out to be. Actually, painkillers are kind of like downers, so they don't really give you energy. They kind of zap your energy a little bit, but you know, whatever. That's what I would assume you would want to give someone who just got hurt. I say, you're not at all what you make yourself out to be. So. In the woods mystery, the way to the entrance. In the woods mystery, we wait to the entrance. So here's a shortcut back to the entrance. We can go back to the potion shop and tell her, Hey, your sister's out there. She's having back problems. You know, I understand it. <laughs> I understand it. I don't really have back problems. Uh, I do have feet problems. Like, my feet cramp up. Like, fairly easily. Like, I just, like, I just move them, like, away. And they just, like, they, they paralyze me, man. And I don't know if it's necessarily an old age thing. Like, I'm not like crazy crazy old, but I am, well, I am a little bit crazy old, but like, even when I was a child, like I always had trouble with my feet. Tee hee hee hee, welcome. My potions work very well, they do. What's that? The Skull Kid got to call me? That's ridiculous. If it's just a Skull Kid, then what harm could he possibly do? Oh. Well, if that's true, then take this potion to her. This isn't good. Are we getting an empty bottle? Our first empty bottle? Ah, uh, empty bottles are very useful in Zelda. You know, they teach you... They teach you the value of containers in Zelda. Because empty bottles are so precious. They allow you to do so many things. They allow you to carry so many things. And in life... In the real world, we have so many single-use plastics. We have so much disposable contain. We have so many disposable containers. We don't value our containers, and we just let them uh, build up in landfills. And a lot of them are not biodegradable, so they just and they um and a lot of them they seep all these toxic chemicals into the environment. So we need to be like the Zelda games teach us. We need to get reusable um containers, and we need to value them. Yeah, we need to value them and carry them around with us. Okay? Okay. You got the bottle of red potion. Red potion replenishes health, and after using the potion, save the bottle for storing things. On the select item screen, set it to 
Uh, when is he blah, 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 blah. Okay, take that potion to her. Okay, I'll take this potion to her. Yeah. You didn't have to tell me twice. You didn't have to tell me once. I was gonna do it. Because that's me. I'm a good Samaritan. I'm Link. I have a hero shield. You know, they only give us... They only give that to heroes. Only heroes can have the hero shield. And as a hero, what I do is I deliver potions to little old ladies. Come on, let's go. Ah, monkey. You should learn your directions. Don't fake me out like this. Okay? Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. I accidentally uh, picked up that little tuft of grass. And, you know, I was afraid I was gonna uh, run behind. Run behind this guy. It's okay, I caught him. And now, I gotta put this potion on one of my C buttons so I can give it to her. It's... Oh, oh, yeah. Don't you feel obligated to help start all the high green C1? Yeah, I do. Ah, that color, that smell, that's definitely Kotake's. She got like that Rick and Morty mouth. You know that? That little like... W-shaped mouth. That little Rick and Morty mouth. She a Rick and Morty! She's Rick. <laughs> She's Rick! Oh, wow. Okay. Anyway. Ooh, feel the energy flow. Kome has revived. Oh, okay. Was she talking about herself in the third person? Because... <laughs> Let's not do that, lady. But, okay. You saved me! I'm the Swamp Tour Guide. I run the boat cruise, so come by if you want if you want a free ride. <laughs> oh, I see. One sister runs the ocean shop. One sister runs the... Um... What's his face? One sister... Oh, hey, 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 monkeys. You have strange powers, no? Me been watching you. Strange powers? Are you talking about, like, me bringing a bottle? Rolling around? You haven't seen me do anything. <laughs> Lately, the swamp is filled with poisonous water. Temple above waterfall strains. Brother, go to temple. But brother, no able to find temple entrance. Temple for Deku only. Brother, captured by Deku, now in palace. Help. You know, okay. I was gonna make fun of the way these monkeys talk, but honestly, if... Honestly, okay, one, most monkeys can't speak English. So it's already an accomplishment that they speak any English. Uh, two, maybe that's not their first language, maybe they have another monkey language. And thus, we're judging them on not being bilingual enough. Well, Link. I don't- th I don't think Link knows more than one language. Tee hee hee, welcome. My potions work very well, they do. Komei told me all about it. Hmm, so did you take the boat cruise yet? Let me speak to you. Hmm, if only I had some fragrant mushrooms. I don't have any mushrooms. Long ago, this powerful nose of mine could detect them wherever they grew. But lately, my nose has lost its touch. It's tough getting old. Aw, oh, sister. I feel ya! I know someone who, uh, you know, he's getting a little bit old. He just bent down. He just bent down and he, like, it almost paralyzed him. He didn't... He didn't do anything, like, crazy strenuous. Oh, man. It's that old age, that old age that gets ya. Oh. <laughs> so, we need to make it... We'll make our way back to, uh... What's his face? The boat tour. And that'll take us to the temple? The Deku Palace? And hey, it's free. It's free. We got, um... We, we helped that lady. She did a little, like, little exchange for us. She's like, hey... Can she help fill my gullet with that red... with that red stuff? 
I'm going to give you a free ride. Oh, thanks for what you did back there. In a special deal just for you, I'll let you take this cruise for free. Ah, yes, we've got a special going on right now. So we're giving this out for free. Oh, wow. The graph box. Wow. Tilt C to look through it. And press A to snap a picture. You can shoot only one pictograph at a time, but you can retake it as many times as you like. If you take a nice picture from the boat, take it that fella over there. Alright, the boat's leaving. Welcome to the boat cruise. Please set your pictograph box to C and then tilt C to look through it. Please enjoy swamp scenery to your heart's content. Keep all hands and feet inside the ride at all times. We at the Swamp Tourist Agency are not responsible for any injury you might occur, you might incur on this ride. You have signed a, a waiver of liability upon your entering onto this boat. So if you hurt yourself, all I can say is LOL LMAO. What do we take a picture of? What's a good thing to take a picture of? Oh, I see that. I see that monkey. Now arriving at Deku Palace. The swamp water is poisonous here, so please watch your step. Are you disembarking? Yes. Let's change the Deku. That way, um, we can just like hop on the poisonous water. We don't have to go in so, into it. Dun, 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 dun. Wow. You know, <laughs> in Ocarina of Time, in the land of Hyrule, um, This is the palace of the Deku Kingdom. Only those on official business may enter. But you may enter to see the public humiliation of the foolish monkey who entered our, for anger of our king. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Did you come to see the foolish monkey again? You seem to enjoy seeing him. I didn't see him the first time. I just walked like a few feet back. <laughs> In the Garden Palace, he said. Let's talk to the monkey first before we look around. Where's that monkey? Can I take a picture? Bad picture of him. Yes. Maybe that's a good picture. Maybe the swamp guy would like that. Let's just change so we don't uh, pull up our, um, our pictograph box like all the time. They keep saying I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, I'm not gonna. Uh, don't matter how many times they say it, it's not gonna bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Please, believe my words. I believe in monkey. I believe all monkeys. Hashtag believe monkeys. I mean, they're cute. Why wouldn't you believe a cute little monkey? The tiny princess has only recently learned to play a deck of pipes. His royal highness was so proud of her. I saw it. That monkey and the princess entering the temple at the night. Only the monkey came back out. Oh, wait, wait, wait. They're talking about the pipes. Let's bring out the pipes. Let's talk to the king. Maybe he pipes? I haven't seen your face before. Are you visiting? 
<laughs> Usually, I don't allow the likes of you in my royal chamber, but today is different. We're about to punish the foolish monkey who kidnapped the Deku princess. He has insulted the royal family. I'll show him what happens when you do that. That foolish monkey is up in that cage. Take a good look at his face. This is why I don't support royalty. You know, I think the Dekus should really establish a republic. I think the I think this king is very foolish and he's like torturing the poor little monkeys. Monkeys monkeys are cuter than Dekus, so I think they should have more rights. Now that we are now that our beloved princess is in miss now that our beloved princess is missing, the king has been unable to keep his cool. I fear the princess may be caught up in some kind of trouble, just as that monkey claims. But in his current state, the king can't even send out troops to look for her. What are we to do? I can go. I can go. I've got all this free time. I can go. Rumor has it that the monkey ate the princess. How frightful. Everyone knows that monkeys do not eat Dekus. They eat the faces off baby. Come on. Only royal ma family members can enter the sunken temple, so it's obvious that the monkey was using her. Type? No. There's like platforms up there. I don't know if they mean anything. I don't- we don't have like a Deku flower or anything. Uh, but there are other directions in there. And they're like, don't go other direction. Oh, hey, monkey. Was my brother alright? Yeah, he's alive. Did you see the entrance to the cage? We know secret route there. Enter secret route from outer garden entrance. Outer garden entrance. But entrance in tall place. No one can reach it. Need bean from bean cellar. Live beneath palace garden. Hmm. Understand my meaning? Yeah, sure. Oh, you smart. Plant bean in soft place by outer garden. You figure out rest. Hurry. Help brother. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... Oh yeah, they they draw a direct line of sight, huh? Time, uh, time to get a little serious. It's time to get a little uh, Metal Gear Solid up in here. <gasps> ah, our intruder. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know that was just a practice run. We can, uh, we can try again. What's over here? Is this like uh, another entrance to the other garden? Hey, I don't want to hop. I want to read that. Hey, 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 hey! Stop hopping! Stop hopping! Oh, no, no, no. I want to read. Please, sir. I have to shine up ahead. Wait, can I just go... Okay, let me let me go back. Will they just let me back? Are these Deku scrubs really that stupid? I told you not to enter any areas other than the royal chamber. It is a very rare occasion that you're allowed to enter, so do as I say. Follow this hall straight to the royal chamber. Do not enter any other areas whatsoever. Okay, sure thing. Yeah, I'm going. I'm totally going straight, right into it. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not wandering around. Definitely not me wandering around. Let's go. Wow, look at those pro skills. Call me Solid Snake. Can I climb this? No, I can't climb that. It won't let me. Okay, 
let's fall down this hole. Oh, what's that? Oh, bean cellar, right? Bean cellar? Please feel- oh, spring water. Oh yeah, they always want spring water. They always- Like, they always want me to take their spring water so I have an empty ball now. It's probably the best- For the best that I take the spring water. Ah, here's Bean Man. Uh, well, Chomp Chomp, you're the first customer I've had in a long time. It's everything's location, 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 guys. You're making your shop at the bottom of a hole in a, in a Deku garden that hardly anyone can enter. So I'm going to tell you, your location is very bad. Uh, How do you expect to sell beans if hardly anyone can get to your shop? It's not about the quality of your product. It's a little bit about the quality of your, about your quality of your product, but it's also a lot of it, like probably 90% of it is convenience. So make it convenient to get here and buy your stuff. Do you need any magic beans? They sprout leaves as soon as you water them. That they do, they do. Mmm, I'll give you one free sample. So try, so try planting it in some soft soil. You can always buy more. Ah, magic beans. Ah, uh, yeah, okay. We can we can plant some beans. Hey, we got some soft soil. I see it. Oh, but first, let me dump this out. Let me dump this water out because I can get more water. But I want to see uh, what I get if I put some bugs in that hole before I get the beans going. Because he does have bugs over here. And that's another thing. People don't like it when your shop is full of bugs. I'm just saying, I am giving you my honest uh, feedback, my views on why maybe your business is not going so well. And I think it's location, I think it's that you have bugs. I mean, I understand. Well, it seems like you're... Okay, it seems like you're eating the beans. So it seems like it's some kind of food product to you. And if that's the case, you definitely do not want bugs where... Uh, oh, what? Can you really sink in that shallow water? That's so crazy. That's crazy. Thank you, Scrub. You're cool. What? Can only... Can only human link plant beans? Oh, come on. Deku... Deku scrubs can't plant beans? They have a whole garden. Who's gardening for them then? I mean... Come on. You got any more beans for me while you're while we're going? Do you like my magic beans and came back to buy more? It's 10 rupees for one pot. I'll buy it. I mean, I'm full up. I'm full up, I'm probably gonna get more rupees. And so I don't want to go over the limit. I'm not doing whatever you want, but if you don't want them, then at least we'll grow. Sure. Also, we can't plant them wherever we want. We need that soft soil, as we've established before. So that's a little bit of uh, false advertising. Oh, treasure chest. What's in here? Anything useful? Just rupees. Just rupees. We went over our limit. We only spent 10 rupees and we got, um... And we got 20. Uh, I, I wanted to buy a little bit more so that we have... Uh, some leeway. Oh! Whoa! I didn't think it would. I didn't think he would come this way. I thought he'd just go around. Oh man. Okay. So, we got the magic beans. We're ready. The monkey, he told us. He was like, hey, you need magic beans? 
get to where the princess is. I mean, not, not the princess, where the monkey is, who they think uh, ate the princess. I mean, come on, I think it's a little ridiculous. Can I climb this as Link? No, I can't. Ah! I didn't think that his line of sight would reach over there. I thought it would, uh... I thought it would be a complete, like, 180-degree, uh, flip. Like, instantaneously. I didn't think that it would spread over there. But, hey. Just like Snake, we have to be liquid. We have to be flexible. We have to go with the flow. We have to be able to adapt. Just like Bruce Lee said, be water. Don't be rock, be water. These palace guards, they're a little bit... They're, I think they're a little bit more on top of it than the palace guards in... Uh, Ocarina of Time. I feel like the Dekus, they... They run like a tighter ship. Hey, More rupees. Ah, I should've bought more beans. I should've bought more beans, cause I... I'm full up on rupees now. Can I really not climb this? Really? 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 Can't climb this? Okay, so... Uh, the first one, the next one is up there. Let's, let's study his pattern. Let's look at his moves. Let's look for an opening so we can slip inside there. So we can just slip inside the opening. Okay, after he gets to the end, he does stare quite a long time at that tree. Oh no, 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 he's back. He's back to looking over here. Who knows? Who knows what's governing his movement? Who knows what's going on in his little mind? Okay, we almost, we almost got it, but we made it. Okay, we see harpies over there. We're, we need two more harpies to get a container. Whoa, whoa, sir, sir. Yeah, heart piece. Um, but where are we actually supposed to go? Where are we actually supposed to go? Oh no, we're gonna get caught. We're gonna get caught. Where are we supposed to go? Uh, uh, is this not the outer garden? Like, is this an inner garden? Am I being... Supposed to be some place I can I can plant these beans, right? Where would I plant beans? I mean, I see these things over here, but maybe I have to go outside and I have to get back onto those platforms over there. Let's go inside. I mean, let's go back towards the center, and then maybe let's head out. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't care too much about being caught because yes because I was going to go back to the center anyway okay now let's go around 
let's go in the back entrance and then let's see if we can get up. Oh gosh, let's go. Look at him, he's got that little twirl. He's just like, oh, this is where, oh, this is where you need the magic bean. Okay. Power. Power, human link. Pour some water on there. And this is not exactly as I would imagine. Um, this is not exactly how I would imagine a bean stalk to grow. It seems more like a magic. Well, it is a magic bean. <laughs> but it seems more like a weird uh, platform of leaves rather than the beanstalk. Anyway, uh, let's go. Let's, let's transform. So that we can use. Deku. Oh! Ooh! We might have to be careful. We might have to be careful, because there is an enemy Deku in that other flower. Ah. So here's where the nuts come in useful. Although we only have one nut. We only have one nut. So, we have to hope that we hit him with our one nut, and that... Ah, we didn't hit him with our one nut. Oh, no! We did not hit him with our nut. And so we need to get more nuts so that we can attack him. Uh, maybe they'll have some nuts in the grass here. Otherwise, um, I think it's a little tricky. Where's the nearest item shop that sells nuts? Although, I don't know if we could just, like, land on the platform and do a spin attack. We could try that. We could try that. I could try the other way, but I feel like since this is a long way over there, that this is probably the right way. Long way is usually right way. But, uh, let me see. This says it goes to the temple. Perhaps there's another piece of soft soil that we can use to get to the upper level of this garden. Hmm, don't see anything. Yeah, and then I just see an octorock over there. Okay. Here we are, we're going back. No nut run. Nutless run. Can we do it? Can we make it without nut? Oh! Wait, what is this? Woodfall shortcut. You, for use by Deku's Cups only. What's this? What's in here? This is... Not sure. Not sure. I guess maybe this is, uh, going to the temple? But we don't need to go to the temple right now, we need to talk to that monkey. 
monkey, monkey, monkey. All of the. <laughs> If you had me bet on whether a monkey or a Deku scrub would win a battle, I would perhaps choose a monkey. Because I mean, look at him, man. And they have... Wait, do Deku scrubs have... Do they have opposable thumbs? I wasn't sure because like I look at I look at Deku Link right now. He has like little gloves, and they might be those like like little, little meaty paws that a lot of cartoony characters have. But if but then again, he is holding these uh, these things. He is holding those like. Uh, Oh, we can just go past him. It, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Where does it take us? Oh no, we fell! We fell! Ah, oh, jeez. Oh man. Okay, at least we know now. We can just go past them. We can just, you know, snake our way past. He's like Snake, we're solid. We're solid and liquid at the same time. We're like a little, like, uh, you know, we're like a little watery. Like a little watery. Let's go! one. He almost got hit by that nut. But no. Whoa. Whoa. Please, sir. I am just a humble Deku Scrub child. I do not wish to... I do not wish to face any violence. Please end the police state in the Deku realm. Okay, where do we go here? Uh, can we beat? I mean... Hmm. Can we make it all the way past them? I'm not so sure that that's a thing we can do. Whoa, whoa, we did, we did, we did. Oh, let's get in here, come on. Whoa. Okay, okay, okay. Maybe this nutless run is actually viable. Oh, but I don't know how we get to that other platform over there. I don't know how we get to that other platform over there. That seems like a long, 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 long way. Oh, 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 ah, oh. ah, oh, we did it. Ah, oh, ah. Oh. Yeah, we did it. We're good. Now where do we go? Oh, it's, it's up that platform right there. Okay. Okay, we're we're basically at the monkey. We we shouldn't let our guard down, but we're basically at the monkey. Let's get this going up a little bit. 
Bust out. Bam. Bam. Uh, drop down link. Okay. I saw the prompt. I saw the prompt. Okay. They keep saying that I kidnapped her. No matter how many times they say it, it's not going to bring the princess back. If they're not careful, the princess will fall victim to a monster. Why won't they believe what I say? Fine. I get it. Then I shall say nothing more to you. Punish me or do whatever else you might. Oh, you have them. You do. You do. Just like the princess. Deku pipes. Those will work great. By the way, who are you? Well, that's not important now. Just listen to me. I was trying to find out about the poison in the swamp, so I went to Woodfall Temple, above the waterfall. But the temple had become a monster's lair, and the princess was captured by the monster. Since the Deku King thinks I kidnapped the princess, he won't listen to a word I say. Now the princess is in trouble, so I must somehow hurry to the temple and save her. Do you understand my plight? Yes. So then, that means... You will go to the... You will go in my place and save the princess. Okay. Now I'll teach you the melody that opens the temple. The princess taught it to me. We can't let them hear us, so I'll sing it softly. Open your ears and listen hard. Upright, upright, a da, a right, oh, up left, up left, a right, a. You played the Sonata Awakening. It's strange how the king saw us before we even started playing, and he didn't immediately sick the guards at us. Maybe he just wanted to see what what was going to ha happen. You know, maybe he wanted to see like, maybe he wanted to see if we would uh maybe take law matters into our own hands and rip his face off and you know he's kind of robbed of a show he learned the sonata of awakening this melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep everyone did you hear that this melody which only the deku royal family knows it proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so she could so he could enter the temple everyone let the monkey's punishment commence You'd better take the shortcut the Deku people use to get to the Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King. <laughs> it sounds like a pitched up Yoshi. Let's go. Let's hop to it. Come on, you can do it, Link. Ugh, you can do it, Link. Come on. Ah, oh, man. Let's kind of look around here. Can I avoid this? Can I avoid this? Can I avoid this? Come on. Please, please, please. Please, please, please. Let's not go. Yes. Please leave me alone.
Can I release these targets somehow? I don't know how. Ah oh, man, ah oh, man. Oh, okay. So if they're right above me and I shoot out that flower, they're just gonna they're gonna come out. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ooh, what's this? Fearful spider house, dead ahead. Let me get out my deco stick. Stick. Let's put it on. And then my, uh, when my, uh, my, my shortcuts and let's light this. Let's get in that spider house. Well, spider house. Hey, dog. What are you doing in here? Oh, this guy. He's a guy. He's a guy that's been turned into a spider. Ah, uh, help me, I am not a monster. The spider's curse, it made me this way. I beg of you, in here, find them. The golden ones. Oh, find them all. The gold ones. The cursed spiders. Defeat them, quickly. And when you defeat them, don't forget the spider token. It contains the spider spirit. If you lift the curse, I'll teach you something good. Hurry, please. This is awful. Did I get some bugs? Yeah, I got... I got space bugs. Why is the... Hmm, does the dog have a point? I don't know. I don't know if the dog has a point. Let's, let's look for these gold sculptures. Hmm. So for this, do I want to use my bugs? And maybe it comes out. Maybe it comes out if I use my bugs. Do I have to do it all in one go? Or can I uh, exit and come back? Like, periodically. I'm not sure. Whoa! Let's go. I was afraid that it would be uh, on the bottom. And I mean, I was afraid that it would be on the wall so that, you know, I had to use some kind of ranged attack to get it. And I'm not really like. I'm really not filled with ways to do ranged attack right now. My third one? How many are there supposed to be? Are there actual dangers in here? Or... Or is it just gold, uh, Skotulas? Please fall down. Oh man, I can't... I don't think I can get it. I don't think I can jump to get it. I don't think I can make it. No, no, no. I can't get it. Uh, maybe it's something I have to fall. I don't know. Maybe there's a uh, upper level where I can fall down to it. Oh, hey. There's another one. How many are there in there? I hope there's not 50. If they would seem like a lot, but they're also throwing a lot at me, like immediately. So. 
Oh, there's a Deku flower over there. My fifth one. Sleeping. Okay, so how do you do that song? Um, now they're waking up, right, up, right. I mean, up, left, up, left. A, uh, right. Up, left, up, left. A, right. A. Up, left, up, left. A, right. A. Yay! Let's spirit. Okay, so let's get in this flower. I wonder how we're supposed to get past this. Oh, we can just... Okay. Oh, that guy just disappeared. The Deku... The Deku whatever. The Deku... The Deku Scott went in here and he disappeared. Man, there's so many here and here. I fear there may be 50. I fear there may be 50. Wow. <laughs> Please don't make this time. Okay, there's no, there's no ticking. There's no ticking happening. So I assume it's not time. Okay, and I don't need to have a way to, Well, before I got this, and I couldn't get up to it. And I couldn't jump up to it. So, I didn't know how to get it. But there's a ladder here now. And I can just climb it, baby. Because, listen. Link's got these limbs, he's got these, uh, short little stubby limbs, and he's... And you betcha, you betcha he's gonna use them to, uh... How do I break these? How can I break these? I don't know how to break these without bombs. Or something like that. Huh. Would the Deku not work? Like a nut is kind of like a bomb. Kind of? I don't know. But I don't have one. I don't currently have one. Okay, so... That's gonna be a no-go. Let's go back in here and then let's go into the other side. Can we step into these pots? Mmm, I don't think so. This game does... <laughs> Tenari OOT, yeah, it does look cool. It actually looks a lot like Ocarina of Time. Got like a lot of the same assets and stuff. Ah! Ah, oh, if only I had bugs. Man. I need to go to the engines get more bugs. How do I get it? Oh! Deku flower takes me across. Okay. 
Yes, I do need bugs. But I think the entrance will give me bugs. I just have one bottle. Let's... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Ugh. Let's go back to Deku. Let's... Let, let's, take, let's take this... Let's throw a little snot bubble at it. Yes. Wait. No. Why do I keep doing that? I need to be a Deku. Can I fly up there? Can I fly over there? Yes. Yes! This is for the Mask of Truth? I don't know what this is for. I, um, I don't remember that much about this. Well, I remember a lot about this game, but I don't remember everything about this game. So I don't know what this is for. He's just like, kill all the golden Skotolas and I'll give you something good. Or I'll tell you something good. Something. So, I'm just doing this for no reason. Because, hey, you told me to do it, so I'm doing it. Ah, man. Yeah, and then... I don't know. <laughs> there are two spider houses in this game versus 100 gold scotulas in OOT. I didn't know there were 100 in uh, Ocarina of Time because I only got maybe... I got... 40 something. I got 40 something uh, tokens in uh, the OT. I wonder if I. Oh, wait, I can roll into these to break them. Okay, that's useful to know. I don't have bombs. Before I start. Before you started speedrunning, the most you ever got was 50, huh? Yeah, it seems like it'd be difficult to get uh, a lot of them because they aren't just in dungeons, they're just like in the overworld too. There's a lot in really deep shadow temple and fire temple. Huh. How do you get up there? I make it, but huh. Let me climb this ladder. Uh, <laughs> uh, doing this about the hook shot. Huh. Mmm. Is this usually something you wait to get the, the hook shot to do? Reminds me how much I like it. Ah, oh, yes. Okay. I haven't gotten the hook shot. I haven't gotten, like, anything. I don't even have bombs. Can I... Yes. I'm a casual at this game, but I can still get hook shot early. Huh. I don't know where the hook shot is. I assume it. I'm assuming it's in some. It's in one of the dungeons. In the third place. Ah, oh, I see. I see. Oh! 
I see, I see, I see. I guess that would be the Zora place. But yeah. Let me see. No health, huh? <laughs> okay, ugh. Okay, so I busted those blocks for nothing. Oh, I thought maybe I could reach that. Um. Ah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know if I can get everything without with the current items I have, because I don't have bombs. I don't have a bomb bag, so I can't blast when the boulders open. MM has set item drops from pots and certain grass. Wow. Okay, so it's not all mm, random. Yeah, maybe uh, I'll come back to this. Okay, okay, maybe I'll come back to this because I was just like... Because I saw a boulder and I assume there's another Skulltrilla under it, so I just... I can't do... I can't, uh, blow them up. And, uh, one of the things is, uh... Yep. I got nothing. But yeah, in the fight in, um... Speaking of the set drop... In, uh... In the fight against Ganon, in, uh... In Ocarina of Time. I told, uh, I told someone about how I ran out of magic. Because I kept missing my shots. And they were like, aren't there just... Aren't there pots in his room? And I was like, yeah, but they weren't dropping magic. They were dropping like hearts and stuff. And they were surprised that they weren't fixed. So yeah, I had to restart my game um, for that Ganon fight and get like a magic, po a blue potion so I could recover my magic just in case. But I didn't need it actually. I just got better at it. Woo! Please don't kill me. Ah, wow. Yeah. Yeah, the first run through, I really had to just like learn uh, what I was supposed to do. Deku Palace ahead. Beware of Octorok. Deku Palace? Am I going the wrong way? Let me look at my map. Woodfall. Hmm. I'm supposed to use... Uh. What is this? The potion shop? What is this? Po potion shop? Max potion shop. Ah. Uh. Ah, uh, yeah, I think I went the wrong way. As, uh, the monkey was telling me to go to... A red potion. Uh, yeah, sure. Oh yeah, I do have 99 rupees. I'm always just so stingy with my rupees. I don't like buying any items. But yeah, I'll go buy a red potion. And I'll also see if I can get some hearts from pop. Who was that? This game rules? Oh uh, yeah. This is one of my favorite Zelda games, although 
haven't played it in over a decade, so I don't remember a lot about this game. Well, I remember... Uh, I remember a medium amount of this game, but I'm gonna get lost in this game every now and then. Just because I don't remember everything. There is a lot to do in this game, but they give you like a... They give you that bomber notebook, which really helps. Oh wait, wait, wait. I need to get rid of my bug. Okay, ladies, send me a potion. Wait, can I buy? Oh, here we go. I actually can't get the greens for this, so I'm sold out. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, okay. I got a potion. Hmm. I'm just gonna take it off my C button so I don't actually use it. Use it! <laughs> Uh, okay. Link really like red po po potions. Yeah, I need to... Oh, hey. I wonder if that guy will like the picture I took of the king. Is that something that he wants? I don't know. I remember he likes so something about pictures of Deku's. It's a rare shot, like, you know? Uh, a human can't enter Deku Palace. So, of course, he's probably never seen the Deku King. He's never seen the full glory of that king. Here we go. You like this? Oh, 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 the king. You are amazing. If you're not a Deku scrub, you're not allowed to enter the Deku Palace, but somehow you took this picture. This is a great shot. This is rare as could come. I'm giving you a big prize. And then a heart piece. I have four hearts now. Yes. First heart. Let's go. I'm looking forward to your next picture. Next picture. I'm retired, buddy. I am retired. Wow. <laughs> okay, so kids' fair is 10 rupees. I saved her life. So she thinks that's worth 10 rupees? She gave me one for your ride. 10 rupees for saving her life. Wow. Amazing. She does not va- Okay. Either she doesn't value my labor, or she doesn't value herself much. I wonder if I have enough time to... to do this woodfall temple in this run. I know I can always do certain things and warp back. But... I'm not sure if I can do it in this... before resetting time. Why did I do this? <laughs> Why did I do that? Why did you do this? Okay, let's go for closer, closer leaves, closer one. Okay, let, 
Um. I hate when you. Yeah, I keep missing the timing on that. On those. Um. I'm busting out of those things. Like, uh, <laughs> it just feels like so. I don't know. It feels so un anticlimactic when you're, um, when you think you're getting ready to shoot and then you just, and then you just like bust out like a tiny bit. No! I should have been more careful. I should have been more careful. Oh no. Oh no! I'm gonna kill these first. You know, I, I thought I could kill them with a flower, and I can, but I'm not good enough at it. I'm not good enough at the flower to, to do that whole thing. Get in, get in. Okay, so this is the shortcut to Woodfall Temple. Woodfall Temple, somewhere here. Ah, I see, I see, I see. I see something. Wait, hold on. I just want to make sure I got a good shot. Oh, it's now. Ooh, hoot, hoot, hoot. This is a rare child. You are a fairy child, correct? What business might you have in this poison swamp? If you dare not venture further, I shall pass no judgment. It is better that you hurry back to this town. Back to town. The swamp you are in has lost its guardian deity, but it was destiny to fade away. Anyway, <laughs> hoo hoot. And that destiny is not solely limited to this swamp. If you have the courage and determination to proceed in the face of destiny, then I shall teach you something useful. Before coming here, had you not seen any of the stone statues that bear close resemblance to me? I have placed those throughout the land to aid the one with the power to change the destiny of this land. Wherever he may appear. If you have left proof of our encounter on any of those stone statues, then the song carved at my feet will certainly be of some assistance. Remember it well and play it whenever the re needed rises. <laughs> From the first time you play this song, we shall become eternal friends, transcending time and place. Okay. Okay, we've we 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 have quick travel now, right? Quick travel. Notes are carved in the stone. Down right up. Down left up. Down left up. I also remember warping in this um, in this game being a little bit more convenient and easier than in Ocarina of Time because it, uh, and the warp points are more convenient, conveniently placed to where you want to go. This melody swoops you up and sends you soaring to a stone bird statue in an instant. Okay, and then where that where that funky picture is, that's where we gotta play a song of awakening, right? Yeah. Thanks, 
this monkey. Huh. What is that? What is that? Some giant roach? Ah, uh, gee. <laughs> oh, man. What? This only stuns it? Okay. <laughs> okay. Spin stuns it. Bubble hurts it. Oh no. Ah oh, no, man. Oof. Okay. Okay, but spin hurts the Dekus. The Deku scrubs, I can definitely just, uh, deal with the spin. Okay. Hmm. Learning, learning. Oh no, oh no. Maybe I should aim to get a little past that guy. Oh, no, 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 no. I, oh, I was just slightly off. Slightly off. Slightly off that bridge. Slightly off that bridge. You know, I can... I know. I know I can see the little shadow where I'm supposed to land. But, you know, sometimes... Oh, no. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 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 Huh? Oh, it took pity on me. It took pity on me and started me on, on the bridge where I wanted to be. Okay. Now we're cooking. We're cooking. Time to play a song. Here's an owl statue. Isn't this the Deku Scrub Mark? I wonder if they worshipped here. Okay, and now we've... Uh, yeah, we've unlocked the style. <laughs> An owl statue. Now we've got a warp point. Let's go. Oh, it's not a fairy? Oh man, that's a fairy. I'm gonna I'm a drink this, this first, and then I'm gonna grab the fairy. Fairy. Ah, uh, yeah! Okay. Love to see... Okay. And then how do I play the song of Sonata of Awakening? Up left, up left, down... Up left, up left, A, right, A. Up left, up left. Up left. those pipes, Link. I honestly like the... I honestly like the sound and tone of, um, the Deku pipes. Can I get that chest from here? Careful, careful, careful. Yes. Let's open it. Blue rupee. <laughs> well, there's that. 
If I want to... If I'm having trouble... Yeah, I can just warp back to the owl statue. Maybe I will work back to the... Mm, what's the owl statue? What's the owl statue song? So I'm just wearing... Down, left, A. I mean, down, left, up. Previous owl in Ocarina time, he didn't have something so useful for us. Sometimes he'd carry somewhere, he'd be like, oh, hold on to my talons. But hey, this one, he's got a song for us that takes us anywhere we want to go. As long as we've got a owl statue there. It looks like there's two more chests on this screen. Can I get them easily? I'm gonna enter first. I'm gonna enter the dungeon first and then like try it. I can always work back. It's not that big of a deal. Okay. I should, should remember. I should remember the fairy mask. First one. Oh, I hear music like there's an enemy. I hear music like there's an enemy. Somewhere in this room. Ah! Treasure chest. Map? Is that gonna be map? No, it's a fairy. It's a stray fairy. I love the look of these... These stray fairies. They're so silly. They're like... They're giving me those vibes that you'd see from like a Dreamcast game or something. Not like... Graphically. But I'm just saying like... The, green, the Dreamcast had all these wacky games. I guess the N64 did too, but I really... Whoa. Hmm. Okay, whatever. Let's move. Ugh, that stench. This place stinks just like that poison swamp. Okay. So. 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 Those flowers, don't they like snap me up or something? It doesn't seem like they're doing anything. Okay, let's try the little flower thing in the mid. Oh. Okay, I couldn't. <laughs> I can get to there. Let's just go this through this door. If there's a new door, I'll enter it. I'll see what's up. Ah, church chest. This one's got a gold trim to it, so I assume it's important. It's a small key. Small key, like, let's shoot up. Over. Oh no. 
Not turtles. Uh, I think the thing to do is wait for them to get over my flowers. And then, like, burst it up. Like that. I think that's what they want me to do, yeah. Oh, no. You almost got me. You almost got me, Mr. Turtle. the name of that? Oh, there used to be a... <gasps> oh, uh... Don't come after me. Not now. There used to be... <laughs> there used to be a Nick Jr. show about like some turtle. I wanted to call him Lil Bill, but no, that's this show about young Bill Cosby. That's not the show about the turtle. The turtle has not been cancelled yet, you know? So... There's no reason for me to have, uh, mistake, mistaken the two. Dungeon map? 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 Yes. Okay. Always love to get that map. I can do without, uh... I can do without a compass. I've done without a compass before. Um, but... A map, I simply cannot do without. Sometimes dungeon music is more ambient. Like it's a uh, it's more ambient than it is like very uh, melody heavy. Like, I don't think that if I... I don't think that I would remember this, uh, this dungeon music. Like, after playing this. Oh, I got a small key, so I can go through here. Ah... This looks pretty light. Why don't you just stand there, press A to grab it? Well, oh. Well, don't just stand there, press A to grab it, and use the control stick. Whatever. Navi. Well, tod Taddle. <laughs> Taddle. You're acting pretty Navi right now. Fairy. Hmm. I wonder if I can bring that fairy to me if I use this fairy mask. Maybe it'll get attracted and it'll be like come out of the water. Or if it's just stuck there. Neither the second day. Well, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. I don't have to get everything right now. If I want to get everything, I can. I can come back. It's not essential. Uh, let's get out my deck of stick. So I can light this torch. Ah, my game just froze for like a short second. I don't know why. Man, stick. 
I mean, the power, the, f the sheer power it takes to render that stick. I mean, wow. It's, it's like my, it's like I couldn't handle it. Wow. Oh, okay. I can also light a thing up here if I run. Because it's gonna be... Ah, it's gonna be so tight. It's gonna be really tight. Okay. Oh no, I didn't mean to do that. But... <laughs> yes, I've got this uh, lit. Uh, let me look around. Is it gonna be easy for me to take a stick and then jump over and then light that thing? Let me try it. Whoa! Ah, Link. Ah, moths. Okay, so, be careful. I sense a lot of evil here. <laughs> um, okay. Okay. Okay, Navi. We're in like some kind of cursed dungeon. I think it's. I think it goes without saying that there's evil in here. Ah, lighting torches. Lighting to come on. So I guess gotta light all these torches in order to do something. I don't want to. Oh, I don't want my stick to. Oh man, I lost the stick because I swung it. I don't want it to end up being the case that I. Oh no. Let me identify. First, let me identify where all the torches are so that I can uh, make a quick route. What? Oh. Big chest? What's it give me? Maybe this isn't. Ah. Oh, is straight fairy. <laughs> So, one here. Never mind. One here. Okay. Where's the other? Is that it? That's it. Then why would that door not unlock? If there's only two. I'll take a look. Should be along these walls. Ah, there we go. There we go. It's lit. Come on. Is this the entrance? Or is this a different? Or is this a different room? Let me see. Are we in the entrance right now? No, we're not in the entrance. We're not. Okay. Okay. We want to go to that top right. And... Here we go. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oof. 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 No! Ah, 
Ah, jeez. Okay, let's let's go. Ah, uh, no. Okay. The way that it seems like the way that Deku Link seems to be vulnerable to air currents, this does not jive with me very well. It is so... Oh. It's so hard to pilot. Oof. Oof. Okay, here we go. Here we go. We're basically done with this room. Yes. I'm clear, baby. Paddle. Look, from up here we have a better view of that shrine below. We do. It seems to be pointing us at using some, at using an arrow to shoot across, but we don't have any arrows. So now we have ladders to quickly come up here when we need to. Oh, and then there's another fairy. And if we look at the map, we're in the center room. We've been to, I think, we haven't been to the top. We haven't been to the north and we haven't been to possi possibly the north. Huh. Huh, 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 huh. There's not a good way. We need to get a bow or something. Otherwise, it's not gonna work. It's a much easier route if I just take these, uh, this ramp. <laughs> ah, I meant to pull out the map, but it's fine. Okay, oh, uh, oh, opposite, opposite direction. It's the opposite direction that's, um... That's the north that we need to go. Okay. It's a good thing I got those uh, those ladders going because that makes backtracking a little bit easier. Ugh. Think. Oh. Okay. Doors closed. It's probably going to need me to light up those, uh, the, the torch in the middle. I actually think that, yes, this is where we came from that one time. Th that's where we came from that one time. So, that's not exactly where we would want to go. We can head over to this end and then go either north or south and those will new those will be new directions for us new directions <laughs> yeah i i definitely think we get in the bow in here battle oh lizard These lizards are no problem. Ah! 
These lizards are no problem. Keep going. Ugh. Uh, maybe these lizards are a little bit more tactical than they were before. Uh, they could not breathe fire before. Um, not that the fire is hitting us, it's just regular sword swings. Maybe need. Maybe we should use. A Deku Scrub. Because he does have. These. Oh, he's not gonna come over, is he? Oh. <laughs> okay, that took a lot less than I thought it would. The Deku Scrub really is good, because it can stun real easily. It can stun really easily, yeah. Okay, and is this compass? Or is this like a bow? Because that's what we need, we need a bow. Yes, you got the hero's bow. Okay, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's gonna help us out. A lot. Aim. Fire. Ah, uh, too high. Aim. Fire. I also want to go into that previous room, and I want to light the... Yes, I want to light the middle torch. Aiming. The way I am just not aiming correct. There we go. Now, going up and it's spinning and it's going to be able to take us to that other di that other direction. The Oh, oh, it's like kind of like a shortcut back to here. It's not like exactly progress, but it is a shortcut. Okay. But I, be I believe this will be progress. Okay. Oh wait. Let me get some let me get some arrows, man. Okay. We're rocking and we're rolling. No, 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 no. Sometimes I really know what Goofy feels like. He's getting all those antics, you know, in those old cartoons. He's like... And I'm like, I feel Goofy. I'm also getting into antics and... I'm also getting into antics and I'm, uh, falling all the time into... Whoa! Frog. Oh, <laughs> I really thought, am I done? But no, I'm not done. Come on, come on. Yes! Oh, there we go. Ah! 
Ah, switching, switching mass on the fly. Real gamer moment. Real gaming hours. Ah, jeez. Where is that? Where's that frog? Frog, 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 frog. Okay. There we go. Yeah. I love how generous they are with the arrows, too. Gosh. Wow. Come on, frog. You know, I love to eat frog legs. That's when, <laughs> when I go to like a Chinese buffet or something, that's always something I like to eat. The salt and pepper frog legs. They taste great. They taste like, they taste kind of like chicken, but I think they're a little bit better. They're like... I don't know. They do have like perhaps like a stringier kind of. It's not stringy meat. It's just that you can get the tendons uh, from them pretty easily. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it, but uh, they're pretty good. You should try them. And it's it's not just the French. A lot of other people eat frog legs, and they're good. It does taste like, kind of like chicken. If you like chicken, you should give uh, frog legs a chance. I got the boss key. Now I can enter the chamber where the boss lurks. Whoa. Hmm. Okay, so I got the boss key. I don't even have a compass right now. Um... And let's see... We would need to go to the north part of that previous room. That previous room is like... The, the, the door is barred off. I'm not so sure... I'm not so certain how you remove those bars from that door. Like, there's probably, like, some puzzle element to it, but I'm not sure. Maybe there's a... Maybe there's, like, a switch or something that I couldn't hit before, but now I can because I have the, uh... Now I have the arrows. Let me look around. Let me use my eyeballs. Let me use my full faculties. Let me... Mm. Mm, faculties failing me. Faculties failing me. Let's head on down a little bit. And then like look up. In that right, in the left room, I don't have the bottom, uh, the bottom room, uh, stored. So, and then where are we? We're here. Let's just enter this door and see. So this is taking me... Right, let's go opposite, opposite direction. Oh, 
Ah, ah, yes, 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 yes. I remember I went in favor of the top door. All right, okay. And then I've got these guys that I hate. Okay, those shoot only down. That's, uh... Okay. Compass? This dungeon's really small. It is. It's like... It's... It's like... It's like a tiny little thing. A tiny little fella, isn't it? Okay, so... Ah... Oh, there is a chest in that center room... ...towards the south. Can I just hop over there? Let me just hop. Okay. Where's that chest? Where's that chest at? Hmm? Maybe I need to go up. Whoa! There another... Oh. Hmm. Maybe it's something that I'll see if I go on to... ...this center. Then I can look up and down. I don't see it. Maybe it'll spawn... Oh! Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, ah, uh, yeah. there's an easier way to do this with like a deku stick maybe i just light a deku stick and then like jump over there we can try it i only have one deku stick though so that does make me a little bit apprehensive but okay. hello oh uh, no 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 Okay, so <laughs> we don't have a deck of stick. We instead have a arrow. Ah, we got it. Hey. Hey. We got it. And also there's a switch there. Possibly it spawns a chest. Chest? Ah! Oh, sorry! <laughs> I knocked the mic. Oh my gosh. Oh, and the 
flower thing did also, uh... It... Purified the water. So there's that. This is probably just- yeah, it's a street fair. This is my sixth one. Whoa. Okay. I guess- I think the boss room is coming up. I mean, we've gotten like all the items. Yes, boss room. Here we are. Up ahead. Um... I think we're probably well enough prepared. Like, I mean, listen, I play Ocarina of Time. I'm used to these controls. I'm used to a lot of this stuff. I I'm somewhat of an expert, you might say, in Zelda right now. Ugh. Ugh. Not an expert in uh, diving into flowers, but an expert in everything else. Oh, I see, I see, I see. Big fairy over there. But there's also flowers over there, so maybe those flowers will, t will take us somewhere in this room. Oh, we can just keep climbing through these flowers. Okay. Ah, and then there's a switch over there. Okay. Please do not be time. Please do not be time. I don't want any of that timed nonsense. Oof. Ah, okay. I don't think it's time. Which is good. Which is good. It's good for me. <gasps> no! The way I just walked past that, oh my. Oh my. Ah, it is time! It just has a really long timer, one which I did not, um... One which I did not, uh, use... Well. Yeah. There are like 15 of these in each room. I already know I missed at least one. Because I didn't go for that one enemy. I mean, that <laughs> that one stray fairy in that uh, in that water room with the pushable block. Okay. Come on. How do I make it over there? How can I? 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 How can I make it? Hmm. Okay. Okay, so I see. I think the solution is to go over to there, and then when the flame comes... I mean, when the flame goes down, we should... Uh, uh, we should go further up, and then... And not to the opposite side of the pillar. Okay, okay. Gotcha. I don't remember what the first fairy... Uh, the 
first Great Fairy gives you for when you um, put it back together. Is it just more magic? I'm not sure. Way. Here we go! Boss! Boss time! First giant coming. This is... What is this? This... Tribal man. Masked jungle warrior. Odawa. <laughs> Oh, bomb flower. And there's bomb flowers. There's this. Oh, okay. This guy doesn't seem so hard. What's he doing? Dancing? Okay, so the nuts stun him. You can stun him with the nuts, and then you can spin to actually hurt him. It's different from... normal, where the spins are stuns. Move on up, move on up, move on up, move on up. Oh man, I'm really messing this guy up. Wow, I'm getting at his ankles and he does not like it. Thank you, Antgelt, for, for the follow. <laughs> Whoa. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you, my dude? Where, where, where are you, my dude? I just want to... Oh, there we go. There we... Ah, uh, ah. Uh. I love this squelching sound. Like. It really sounds like you're doing something. Ah. Ah, uh, how many hits will it take? Come on. I'm just a little ice skater. I'm doing my my infinite axles. Man, the bats in this in this place. They're crazy. How you doing, Engel? Come on. Where are you? Ah! Whoa! No! No! Wait, did I use up my fairy? Oh, no I didn't. I just got help. <laughs> okay. That sound, I thought it was me using a fairy. Okay, maybe I just use the flower to get inside and then I'll just I'll just spin attack at it. Ah! 
están Ah, jeez Oh, there's so many hearts, gosh This really is the first boss This really is the first boss, they're going easy on me Ah Come on, come on Just die, guy Just die Adalwa? Adalwa, why don't you... Uh... Try taking a walk? I don't know, I, I couldn't think of a... I couldn't think of a play on Adalwa You know, that's not really that close to any... English words. <laughs> Come on. Sir. Move on up, move on up, move on up. Yeah. Come on. Am I damaging him? I'm not sure if I'm damaging him. I keep hearing sounds like I'm damaging him. I don't know if I am. <laughs> Tada, what you gotta say? Look closely, the bugs seem to gather around fire. Around fire, huh? The bugs gather around fire. Huh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I haven't been using the bombs. I haven't been using. <sighs> yeah, I haven't been using the bombs in this room. Ah, man. Guys, leave me alone. No more bomb? Okay, here we go. <laughs> I think I did some damage to him before Because there's no way he just dies to one bomb There's no way There is absolutely no way Thank you Thank you Ant Gal First Giant first giant mask thing done. You have just freed the innocent spirit that this dark mask had kept in prison within the body of evil Adawa. Listen, it seems to be saying something. Could that be... Could that crying be its way of teaching us some sort of melody? Don't just stand there. Get your instrument. Right down, A down... Wait. Right A down... <laughs> right A down... Wait, right down A... 
<laughs> down, right, up. Okay. It does show there, but I was just wondering if I could just memorize it before then. The Oath to Order. Learn the Oath to Earth order. Okay. Calm, call, call us. That's what he's saying. <laughs> okay. I thought he was going to say, like, oh, calm down. First temple, one out of four, done. Skull Kid's got nothing on us. The poor, the, the four people Tail talked about. You think he was talking about the spirit that was sealed inside that mask? Oh, hey, oh, hey, you were pretty good out there. Have you done this before or what? Now, just keep up that pace and save the other three. Hey! Um... All that stuff I did to you, your horse, I... I apologize. Sorry. Yes, Ugh, oh my gosh. There, I apologize. So don't hold it against me, got it? Pick a direction. Pick a direction, Tato. <laughs> Now then, we've helped the princess just like the monkey asked. So now our next stop is in the mountains. Let's hurry and do something about that Skull Kid. Okay. Ah. Uh, ah. She looks... She look... She has like those droopy sad eyes. Wow, who are you? P, pleased to meet you. I am the Deku Princess. Were you, by any chance, asked by that monkey to come save me? Aha, uh -huh, just as I suspected. You see, your body smells a little bit like monkey. So, oh, the monkey that made- The monkey made it back fine after all, that's good. Where's your nose, lady? You say you can smell me, but where's your nose? Is that your nose, like the big old round thing? If that is, then where's your mouth? What is it? <laughs> I still don't understand this uh, Deku anatomy. I was worried that when I didn't come home, my father would think that monkey had kidnapped me. I was worried that my father would even go as far as to punish that poor monkey. Hoo hoo hoo. Don't tell me. Are you serious? Is my father actually doing that? Yet another hasty decision, father. Well, we haven't any time to lose. Quickly, Mr. P. Could you please find something to carry me in so you can take me to the Deku Palace? Sure. I'm gonna have to get rid of my fairy for you. And, you know, honestly, I don't know if you're worth the fairy, but hey. I gotta do it to progress, so... I'll help you out. I want to help out the monkey. You know, the monkey's worth it. The monkey's very cute. I love him. Ugh, Mr. P. There's no, no time to lose. H hurry! Take me to Why does she talk like that? What is she... <laughs> What's her deal? <laughs> Go. 
Oh. It's the final day that, uh... Where's this? It's gonna take me to the palace? Southern Swamp. Ah, yes, 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 yes. This is a quick way to the palace. Okay. Let's go. That's not the palace. Is it? With all temple hub, love, love. Wait, this is a palace. It is a palace, like, over here, though. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, my sense of direction. Oof. Okay. Why are you waiting, Mr. P? Uh, hurry! Open this bottle and release me wh where my father is standing. Okay. Oh, my princess, my darling princess, you're alright? I was so worried. <laughs> oh, 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 foolish father! Oh. Oh, man. You can't be doing that to an old man. You understand how delicate an old man's back is? What are you doing? Let that monkey go this instant. Oh, Mr. Monkey, I am truly sorry. Father does such brash things when he's worried about me. I understand, Princess. Forget about that. Has the temple been returned to normal? Why, yes, thanks to Mr. P here. I am very, truly grateful. Really? So you're called Miss- So you're called P, are you? Thank you for keeping your promise to me. Aww. The monkey's got like a little furry little belly. <laughs> As a symbol of our gratitude, our butler has prepared a little something for you. Please accept it. You'll find it in the shrine. That will be to your right when you leave the palace. I think I'm gonna call it for tonight. Uh, thanks for everyone who came or followed or eat or chatted. Or even just watched. Uh... I am going to, like, if anyone wants to, like, actually, actually stick around, uh, I could raid someone else that's doing, uh, Legend of Zelda. Which is... I feel... Elmza? <laughs> Elsa <laughs> does not accept me, but, uh... Okay. Maybe let's go Link to the Past. Okay. Wow. Okay. Let's not raid anyone. No one wants to accept my raid. No one has their settings open to raids, so, okay. Let's, let's quit it for now. Or, I don't know. I, this would be funny, because he's such a big streamer, and I'm such a small streamer, so let's try this. This isn't Zelda, it's just a random game, it's like Genshin Impact or something. Ah, no, okay. No. No one wants it, okay. Fine. Bye. Bye. <laughs> I don't know how Twitch works. I really don't. But yeah, bye. Thank you. Thanks for everyone.